I want you all to imagine a wasted, blasted coastline ravaged by seas, rocky crags, and once thought impenetrable, inaccessible. They called it the wastes, the area that storms raged and peril just seemed to exist beyond the, the, the crag of the coastline until a way was found forward. And within the hidden recesses of the basalt cliffs and the blasted out ruins of some civilization, some construction of living, a group of adventurers gather. They're silhouetted. We have no vision of them just yet. They gather around a spot that hums with this almost arcane mechanical clicking noise. And we're looking at this device. And these group of adventurers have braved their way here to explore this land for their various factions and their various groups and various supporters and everything. But like all good stories, we will start at the beginning and go back to the known world, a time in which arcane energy and magic reigns wildly. It's used and channeled as, as aggressively as possible in terms of development. The surrounding lands are at war, and they have been for what seems like decades, and people have lost the reason why these various nations are at war. And we find ourselves at the Broken Bridge Tavern, this inn, which is filled with a variety of different components, uh, pieces fashioned from odds and ends, weird pieces of paraphernalia, and a sundry of fractured remains from the surrounding groaning domain. This inn pulls together a variety of beings and objects. And this is where we find our adventurers tonight, back in the known world. Back before they make it to this land that we will adventure, and we will, we will figure out how and what sort of things they discover before reaching this place out in the wastes, the blasted lands. So tonight, our adventure will require a little bit of luck, and I would like to just show our luck tokens here. Um, we will roll randomly. Luck tokens will allow anyone to re-roll any die. DM, the Dark Master, the Shadow Dark Master's dice, the Game Master, any other players at any time. They just come with a caveat. The little toy soldier will draw from your character's childhood. The obelisk here will draw from your character's position in the known world, maybe their job or family life or whatever. The campfire will represent a moment around a campfire with our current players, maybe uh, even a moment by yourself during this adventure. The campfire will also be responsible for recapping last session. So tonight, that will be absolved and removed. The coin represents... I'd like to recap you session want, zero. Yeah, <laughs> and all the conversations we had. The coin represents... Well, Alex talks himself. <laughs> yeah. That doesn't make it in. The coin will um, represent a hopeful future. What does your character hope for? What does your character yearn for? I already rolled randomly, and Nick, you can roll randomly to determine which luck token you will receive. So a d4 will be the, the, the play here. One being the, the, to uh, the toy soldier, four being the coin. Three, you get the campfire token. This so. is literally the only one I didn't want. <laughs> <laughs> Lucky That's you. Your luck. That's and we will go luck. clockwise. So Brandon, you're up next. All right. So, you so you can do D6, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Coin, okay, so your hopeful character future. will draw from hopeful future. 50 50. 3. So I guess that's this, right? Yep, three, 1, four. 2, 3, 4. Yep, that's fine. The childhood? And the childhood. Drawing uh -oh. from the childhood. So, tonight. I need to make up a childhood. This is great. It can be a moment. It can be, it can be an instance. It can be something that will uh, illustrate your character a little bit further. So, Let's get the means. Yeah, we can take those boxes out as well, too. So, 
tonight, your various supporters, your various factions, which are all represented in your characters, each of you rep can represent a faction, can join a faction, or uh, remain neutral. Um, you each have a number of characters in your, uh, uh, what's that called, roster of players, and they represent your abstract power of your faction. Should all your characters die, your faction crumbles. So, Errol, how many characters are in your stable? Um, well, uh, I believe it was four. Yeah, D4 yeah, plus two. two. Yeah, yeah. So yeah. it was you rolled a two and you got a two. Brandon? Just rolled a four. Great. So you have six characters in your faction. Errol, uh, Arton? Let's see. Oh. So you also have six well. characters. And this is through the life of <laughs> game. Everyone has six characters except for you, Errol. I demand a reroll. <laughs> <laughs> I'm using my luck token. Yeah, the, the <laughs> dice was <laughs> rigged. <Yeah. laughs> Months ago. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> right. So tonight, your faction, you know, sponsors, your your larger supporters, have told you tonight. The, there's a map that must be found at the B Broken Bridge Tavern, and you guys, as a group, can decide whether to infiltrate this tavern during a busy time or an empty time. Go ahead. You guys can decide amongst yourselves, just as players. How would you guys want to go about this? Mm, I mean, a number of us are pretty stealthy. Hmm. Right, right. So there's a, there's a, we've been told there's a map of the tavern, and we can use it to do whatever we want. Yep, your various factions have been told that there's a map that has uh, recently been uh, uh, Illustrated uncovered. or, or yeah, uncovered, or at least um, dire like um, described. Something. No, it's like they haven't found it. They've heard there, there there's something re related to this tavern. There's a map that needs to be found here. Oh. We, yeah, we believe so it's like a precious map of something. We don't know what, but Correct. it's in at the this tavern. moment. Time. <clears throat> it's yep. hidden in the tavern, mm -hmm. or somebody's got it on mm -hmm. their person. Mm -hmm. Okay, I like the concept of after hours work myself. I do, yeah, I mean, it is kind of appealing to, like, be sneaking around, picking pockets, picking fights, but at the same time, you know, after hours, after dark, might be kind of yeah. thrilling. Mm -hmm. Never know what you might find. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Sure. At the same time, if it's lively, you know, there's always ways to get through mm -hmm. and use social engineering. <laughs> and that is true. That's true. <clears throat> hmm. Roll for it. Uh, yeah, I like it. Let's be a aside. So, yeah, sure. Yeah. Yep, yep. And okay. So, what do we want? One, two. Uh, well, D six. Bottom three is daytime. Top three is nighttime. Nighttime. Want to hit us with the table cam? Sure. Yeah. Boom. Um. All right. It's a three. Nighttime. Okay. Now, Wait, night or day? Daytime. daytime. I think I said daytime. I don't know. You guys are the ones listening. Right. <laughs> I said one to three daytime. Uh, let's go daytime. Sure. sure. Daytime. daytime. Sounds great. Okay. Now, secondly, would you want to start in the tavern or start in the basement? Where do we feel like the? Do we have any idea of where this item is? No. You just your various factions have informed you that there's a very important map that where it must be recovered before. Well, someone else. Cal would have done surveillance mm -hmm. um, and tried to scope out the place beforehand. Um, does the basement entrance seem busy, or does the front entrance seem? I don't know. Is there anything about either that makes it harder to go and stuff? <clears throat> the 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 uh, up the. Surface level is heavily trafficked, and this tavern is a mishmash of road signs and half of a building and a barn door and you know a half of a tower, blocks of of you know a ruined t uh, castle from a, another nation. It's a mishmash of these things, and it's almost on the outskirts of the larger nation that it's a part of. It's like a, a hub of mm -hmm. sorts, mm -hmm. and it sits upon uh, this this basement that people say uh, is connected to a lot of different areas, a lot of different things that have yet to be explored. Underground tunnels, huh? I'm interested in the basement. Well, I would say Herman is, uh, Herman Roth, my character, uh, <laughs> is very nice you. about, you know, connections and information. That's kind of his thing. So he probably would have done a little bit of intel gathering. Does he know anybody that's going to be there tonight or today? Uh, yeah, he does. Yeah, there's a, a person here, Parekios. 
Oh, Parechios. Right. Parechios. Mm, that rings a bell. So, um, so old Parechios is going to be where at the tavern? At the bar? Or do we, he we tends to know? inhabit the uh, main level up above as a patron. Right. Kind of, yeah, schmoozing and chatting mm-hmm. and hanging out. Mm-hmm. Okay, good. So Parechios is going to be there. All right. And uh, does Herman has Herman been able to gather the access to the basement from the main level? Yep. Mm-hmm. Okay, so what does that look like? We're talking one entrance, it, It's a stairwell access. down okay, one, from the main level, stairwell. yep. And there's like servants entrance into the kitchen, into the back, and you can easily make your way down into the basement. Okay. And for you guys? Um, I would say that Miss Biggs's faction, the Raptors, mm-hmm. are interested in, like, you know, like service. Like, if this is a tavern, this is a party, then... Like, you know, providing food, providing, like, you know, uh, drinks, or, uh, like, service workers, things of that nature. Like, is there, um, gosh, like, are there, like, is there an understanding of, like, what areas are, like, public and, like, what areas are, like, more... Yeah, the basements are not public. Okay. Okay. The main, the main stay up top is the Broken Bridge's main draw. Mm -hmm. And it is filled with various areas for sitting, for smoking, for gaming, for eating, storytelling, and it draws a whole host of people. But the basement is never accessed. Mm. That's where, yeah, that's that's, that's Well, gentlemen, Mm. we know what we're looking for. I said we go in, see what's going on. I'm sure there's other people looking for this thing too. Let's go in the front. Yes, I, I think we go in the front, start right. talking, right. start right. looking. Make our way to the basement. Rub elbows. This is there during the day, you guys said, right? Yep. Yeah. Mm-hmm. yeah. So you go to the basement? Can we split up? Well, yeah, can we split up? Yeah, of course. Okay, then, yeah, Miss Biggs will go to the basement. You never know what you might find in a basement. <laughs> I'm that being said, could be something could be the... worth brawling upstairs. You know? What does our fighter want to do? So the basement is considered private. Mm -hmm. And it stands to reason that entering that basement might be a suspicious activity if somebody else were to observe that. I think Senex Militus, my character, would like to try and gather a crowd and tell some war stories to keep people's attention away from the source of the basement and Mm -hmm. around my stealthier friends access MPD. Okay, great. So you guys just abstractly can put yourselves on the map here so and two and two or three and one. Uh, yeah, where is the see what happens. <laughs> the stairway on the on the right over there. This, this. From the dude over there. So you're heading right to the basement. This yeah. Way, yes. Oh, there? Yep. Mm-hmm. Okay. Oh, 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 oh wow. there. Look at that. Multi-level map. Multi-level map. Hey, you just broke in like that? That's crazy. It wasn't even locked. <laughs> like... Not that private, I guess. <laughs> you guys have the intel. So, meanwhile, up at the main level, you can see there's this, you know, uh, very short human, and he's wearing this almost like it's like a, like a golfer's cap, and he's got this face that's just worn leather. It looks like it's seen tons of sun, and he's just salty. You know, he's got uh, uh, cracks and crevices, and he just has this look about him that is warm and welcoming. And he's you know entertaining some people and looking around. And this is uh, Perechios that you know of. Ah, <laughs> <laughs> oh, my friends! Oh, yes, I remember being down by the lake. Oh, it was an amazing time, my my friend. And he catches sight of of Herman. Oh, Herman, you bring new friends. Perechios, I always have new friends. Yes, every every time I'm here. Ah, uh, your friends are my friends. Let me tell you, I've been gathering the new people here. They've come from the nation to the west. Hmm. Any stories for us uh, about what's going on over there? Any adventures? Uh, war, rages. Oh, I need to get out of here. My heart yearns for adventure. I'm looking to the east, across the seas. It would be my dream. My dream. 
Fellas, have you met Parekios before? Parekios? What does Parekios see? Describe you guys' characters. Um, for me, Kel, he uh, sees a clean-shaven man with a cloak. Um, very stylish, um, kind of flowing scarf. And uh, he's a human, kind of tall, mid, maybe six foot, something like that. Uh, yeah, as to carrying just what daggers. Colorful? Uh, let's say crimson. Mm, okay. Yeah. Very red. <laughs> Excellent. Uh, <clears throat> Senex is a human, uh, short, cropped, salt and pepper hair. Um, looks like he has been in the sun too long, world weary, but just, you know, a little young to have sort of that emptiness behind his eyes. Uh, still carries himself, however, with the bearing of a military man as befitting his history in the Legion, which is betrayed to those who see by his worn but still functional Legion-style leather scout armor. And Parakios looks you over, oh, you've seen battle, my friend. I, my heart, I do not want to go to war at all. Please, tell us, what? What have you seen out in the fields? I have seen more than I, than I care to share. <clears throat> My legion took heavy casualties and was disbanded, so I find myself currently without a home or purpose, and thus I came here seeking my fortune and information. The Broken Bridge Tavern brings my, many souls here, my friends. I welcome you. Please gather round. And you can see that there's a crowd that he's like trying to draw forward to wherever you're gathering around. Miss Biggs, you're down in the basement. So describe Miss Biggs as we see her go down into the basement. So Miss Biggs is a uh, very, very small woman, like a halfling, actually. <laughs> and uh, they always have this like, you know, large cloak that's like not too, not big enough that it drags in a way that would make a lot of noise, but it's large enough that they can hide in the shadows of it when they need to. Mm -hmm. um, and so uh, they also have a gold and black signet ring, like, you know, for uh, the, orga the organization that they're a part of, mm -hmm. these, um, these raptors. And uh, yeah, 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 it has a little bit of a shifty look. As Ms. 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 Biggs, you know, slips into the back, through the doors, down the stairs, uh, it's, it's accessible, certainly. It's a, it's a functioning basement, but immediately you're met with a wall of black. It's just completely dark down here. Oh man, looks like we're gonna have to light a torch. I forgot what game we were playing. Ah, <laughs> <laughs> uh, yes, the torch. So the torch will run on an hour of real time. And in fact, this is probably a good moment to mention, this game pseudo runs on all real time. So I, I bring that up, let me set my timer here. The game running on real time, meaning we don't want to be caught in the under dark, into the depths, into the shadow dark, at, as the game session ends. Because time will progress in an abstract form while we're not sitting at this table here. So I think it would be behoove you all to try to find safety as we feel the end of the session coming because staying down in the shadow dark as we leave this table will probably mean certain death for your characters. So if you want to eat through your stable of characters, it's best to move on. One hour of real time and the, the, the torch, all light sources will be extinguished one hour from now. So best not to dawdle. As you light the torch up, you can see there's a mishmash of shelves and boxes and store goods and uh, you know an assortment of tavern supplies sitting here in the basement, lined by, uh, uh, doors line the walls in each of the respective um, walls from the east and the west. Well, I'm going to look for the map. <laughs> okay, yeah. Where exactly would you like to look? So there are these various boxes. I think they're looking for anything they can use, like the map, like clues, any writing, any more torches. Mm -hmm. um, like, and they're first going to, like, scout out this room. They don't want to go very far before the other people get here. Um, but, yeah. Yeah, you, you, uh, as you're going through a lot of this, these goods, it's all tavern goods, and initially in the back boxes and everything that you notice. It's all stuff for upstairs. Mm -hmm. Jars, bread. Take a bite of bread. <laughs> sure, yeah. So you're going to spend some time down there. What are you guys doing up top? So, 
Parikios is chatting this big crowd up. Uh, he's sort of. He's gathered them around and he's he's letting you guys take the stage. Oh, us take the stage. Huh? Yeah. Oh, we've got we've got newcomers. Everybody, gather around. You've heard me tell a tale here or there, but we got newcomers ready to share their tale. Parikios and tavern patrons, allow me to tell you of the last great battle of the last great campaign of my legion. <laughs> and I proceed to spin a tail to get <laughs> attention focused on me. And, and that's our cue to sneak off. So, Recchio, so I'm going to go get a, a mug of ale. Okay. Of your, of your three, maybe two, who's left, who do you think of the three has the biggest rival, the biggest grudge, the biggest adversary? In the world of your three here, between you three, who do you think has the oh, the, the biggest beef? Yeah, <laughs> not between you guys, but like oh, out, that's out, what I'm yeah, asking. Yeah, so yeah, out yeah. in the world, yeah, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Uh, probably Kel. He has uh, beef with the. Uh, you can hold that for a second. Do you agree with that? You guys want to make a claim or? Uh, Herman's got beef, but it's uh, with the system. Okay. Well, I would say the same thing, but it's uh, somebody you can't touch. You know, it's like... Oh. Did, do we have the same character? <laughs> if you guys feel it's time, just roll it off. <laughs> no, just roll the yeah, 20 highest. I'm okay with uh, Herman's K. He goes with the flow of <laughs> things, so... Okay. Cal, here you go. You can, you can answer that as soon as you can. And you give it back to me. Mm-hmm. And Herman, you're slipping away. Yep, so I'm gonna go ahead and uh, wander over into this napkin over here, to the north. Okay, yeah. Wandering over to that uh, northern napkin there, yes. No, nope. that, those are windows out. Oh, oh, so that's not part of the tavern? This is all outside. Oh. It's a pretty small tavern. I thought we had a little more space to kill here. I guess, uh, I guess the other area was the, <laughs> the place to go. So there's no upstairs? Mm-mm. Okay. So what, 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 what do we see in here besides Parekios and his uh, platoon? Yeah, you see a bunch of figures that are en- enchanted by uh, uh, Senex's uh, story here. And they all seem common, run-of-the-mill folk. They look like they've been you know, wearied out in the fields. There's very few figures that actually have the presence that you guys have here. Mm, but there are some. Yeah, there's like one or two that are kind of remaining off, off to the side. Mm-hmm. Great, so I'm going to check them out. Okay. Tell me about them. Tell me about these figures. Yes, they the one you know they, one of them looks a little bit beefier you know and has like you know overalls on and you know like a similar cap to Parekios, but it's just all battered. It's like uh, torn up and worn out and like he just seems to have like an attitude about him like he doesn't want anything to do with the story that's being told. Mm, okay, and the other character, the other one is a small, snivelly you know like mousy person that just has like, a long nose and it's just like rotting teeth and like his little little long stringy hair he looks it looks he looks filthy mm, all right so i'm gonna bring a beer over to that guy okay i got a beer i'm gonna bring a beer over to the yeah he's, the he, he's like one. flinches as you come over what's the matter yeah, yeah, yeah. What, what do you, i don't want any of that you don't want a beer not from you why ah what are you doing here look take a sip <laughs> take a sip from the other one see no poison <laughs> Uh, wait 20 minutes and Kate takes it yeah, and just right. watches you. He doesn't drink it. <laughs> <laughs> what are you doing here if you're not going to drink? Oh, I'm meeting someone. Oh, okay. All right. Well, I'm meeting someone too. You mind if I just wait here for a sec? I'll wait as long as you want. All right. So I'm just going to wait here for a minute. Oh, <laughs> <Kel. laughs> Um, I'm going to try to sneak off. Obviously, there's a tension, uh, but I want to join Miss Biggs downstairs. Okay. Uh, you so, can easily do that with the story that SNX is being told. You just slip through the kitchen, and you can, you know, there's small wisps of, uh, you know, uh, uh, smoke from the cooking that's being left on the stove, and there's like oil vapor in the in the in the air. There's the kitchen is a easy place to slip through, but you can feel it has like a like a, a presence. You know, mm-hmm. you can easily like disrupt it to cause some sort of catastrophe if you need it. Oh. A catastrophe? Uh, yeah, you know, like spill the oil on the open flames or like, you know, <laughs> it's a dangerous space, but you can slip through it and you slip back into the basement. Yeah, the let's, basement. Let's, let's slip through it. Yep, Miss Biggs, you're down in the basement. File that in the, in the memory basement. You've, you've gone, you've searched through everything, yep, and it's coming down the steps, you see... Uh, you find anything down here? Go. Not yet, but I was waiting for the rest of you to get here. Yep, there's doors along the way, and, you know, in searching all this, you know that... Uh, 
Some of them are locked. Which one is you? Um, that one. Yeah. Mm -hmm. The pit fighter. Yep. Well, I don't think they're coming. We got a story being told up there, and I, I don't know what happened to her. Yeah, Miss Biggs is just gonna open the first door they see. That one there? Mm -hmm. Yep. Okay. Another storeroom. Okay. Uh, I'll go to. I'll go to the next one, like, and, <laughs> like start opening the storeroom doors, seeing if there's anything in here. Another storeroom. <laughs> I'm just going to start opening doors on the other side, too. Those two are locked. Ah. Can we lockpick them? Do we have lockpicks? Yep. Do you have yep. lockpicks? You can lockpick them. You yep. both. I mean, you, as thieves, you guys can lockpick these. It's just going to take you two rounds. Okay, why don't you lockpick one of those doors while I finish opening those doors? <laughs> <laughs> I get working at it. Okay, which ones are you picking? Um, okay. the, the first one. The first, first one, one there? Comes yep. to me. Okay, sure. All right. So, you guys are going to take some time to pick through these locks. Meanwhile, up top, you can see that the crowd is just raptured by so more. At this point, I'm gesturing at my scar. Like, <laughs> <laughs> oh, I don't want to do anything with war. You could send yourself out there. Send your whole family out, please. I'll, I don't want to go. I'm just I'm common folk, just. This guy's heart can't take anything. What do you mean, adventure? <laughs> <laughs> right, you just talk's a big game. <laughs> All right, so still I, chatting I am, away. I'm still trying to keep the crowd focused on me. Right so, now. how's my friend doing here? He seems to spot somebody. A group of people that have arrived outside the tavern. Oh, outside the tavern, mm -hmm. okay. Mm -hmm. So I'm just gonna be kind of like rambling. Oh, you know, oh, Fred, boy, I tell you, the prices at the market <laughs> these days are really killing. Drink your beer, come on. He, he, he has nothing to do with it. I'm uh, not interested in this. My friends have arrived. Oh, what, what do they drink? They drink beer too? They're not here for drinks, and he stands up. Oh, okay. So which direction is he going off to? He just stands up. He's just as if welcoming them. Oh, okay. All right. Well, you're about to sit in on the meeting. <laughs> yeah, yeah. All right. So why don't I like? Uh, I'm gonna grab my beer. Fine. You know what? You can't have my beer. So I'm gonna stumble over. Ooh, woo! Stumble it over to the drunk guy, and put the beer down. Or not the drunk guy. The uh, the burly guy. Mm -hmm. and plop my beer down. Whew. That jackass over there, so mean, man. He didn't want my beer. He didn't want to talk to me. He didn't want anything. Here, it's for you. He, he stands up too and knocks the drink over and is like heading towards where the, the the mousy guy's going. All right, so then I'm just gonna kind of sit down and watch what happens. <clears throat> they, they meet in the middle and you know the mousy guy's like pointing at you, and the, the big hey. guy's like. They seem to be talking about the instant, the, the uh, engagement that they've had with you and, and you trying to push beers on them. Yeah, so I'm just kind of, hey. <laughs> just like drunkly looking around. <laughs> Imagine the group of people complaining that somebody's pushing beer on them. Yeah, they're like, fuck this guy, give me, <laughs> give me drinks. <laughs> what are you doing, give me drinks? Yeah. I don't want any of those drinks. All right, so I'm going to keep an eye on these uh, shifty fellas. Sure. So uh, as you keep an eye on them, they, they, they're they watching the, the people that have arrived. There's there's a, like a posse. I'm, I'm sneakily watching them. Sure, yeah. You can see that there is a gathering of, of folks outside surrounded by this one figure just in, who's in like a, 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 a blue cloak. Mm, okay. Hmm. So right. tell me your name again. Senex. Senex, right. So I'm going to kind of like wink at Senex and like... Look out the window. I continue to tell my story, but I'm now paying attention to this crowd that seems to have gathered. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah, they're they're forming out front. They're they're gathering, and you can see that you know the figure in the blue cloak is is pointing towards the tavern and like tr seemingly giving orders to the smaller. Are they folk. armed? They don't appear armed. What's Parenchius doing while this story's going on? Oh my God! Oh my God. <laughs> I unbelievable. Let me. Let me tell you, I've... Breaks my heart, young boy like you. It's kind of like egg in my mouth. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> those days. We lost a lot of good men those days. But I am here to tell you that as we all try to find our place in this world, there is 
a glimmer of hope. You can always be something different. You can always become something different, despite what haunts you from your past. And as I'm doing this, I'm gesturing, I'm making my way back over, kind of in the general vicinity of Herman. Okay, yeah, okay. And um, meanwhile, down in the basement, you guys could manage to unlock more of these doors. E Kel, you notice that the door that you've unlocked looks undisturbed for a long time, and you can easily tell that there's uh, like a draft coming through here. Like there's there's a exit to something else. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh -huh. Cool. Uh, you, uh, Miss Biggs, you find a, a room. Uh, it's filled with just um, pieces of military equipment, you know, like... Weapons. But, like, I don't want to say torture equipment, but, like, weapons that could be used... But they aren't, like, arms and armor. They're, like, um... Like a cross... Like, ballista? Like a... No, no. Thing? Like, you know, like, uh, um... A folding shovel, um, you know, uh... uh Support. Set up gear, equipment. yeah. Set up equipment. Camping stakes and wires and a barbed wire and it looks mm -hmm. like a bunch of supplies and, you know, you, they, they look like they've been used to cause harm because they're like bloodied or, or bits of flesh have been covered on them or whatever. Mm. Yeah. Well, this place goes somewhere, Miss Biggs. Definitely right. something to look into. And these two doors are still locked. Okay. Uh, do you want Do you want to keep going that way or do you want to um, unlock some more doors? I think we should unlock more doors just to okay. down. Yeah, let's do the lock. There's probably nobody else. So. And there's no reason to stop us right now, despite what is going on upstairs. <laughs> and you don't know about that yet. Yeah? Exactly. So I'll move up, continue unlocking. You're unlocking more of those doors? Okay, yeah. it's going to take two more rounds. And you guys up front, you can see that the blue cloaked figure starts, like, approaching the broken bridge tavern with just such, like, a, like a presence. And, just... and you can see surround, like, the people around them look to be similar to, like the brawn guy and the mousy guy like scrappy you know overall wearing or like greasy vests and and pants that are all torn up it's like they're they're following this figure so by the way the entire tavern's uncovered are we aware of what's going on in these two rooms like off to the side yeah here? yeah loosely yeah. Yeah. Okay. yeah there's just like a couple people chilling or yeah, 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 playing games and you know, yeah, you know, some smoking hookah over there and right. eating eating some some medium quality food. Yeah, nobody special. Doesn't <laughs> look like anybody. No, 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 no. Yeah, okay. This looks like it's about to turn into a clusterfuck. What do we do? <laughs> <laughs> At this point, you're like wrapping up your story, unless you'd like to keep going. <clears throat> so I'm kind of like, you know, drunkly next to you, but I'm like whispering in your ear, like, mm. what the fuck? I, I'm gonna give the. Only the slightest perceptive, uh, perceptible nod, right, is somebody casually observing, hopefully wouldn't pick up on this, right, just to acknowledge that I've heard you. I conclude the tale, take a quick bow, just theatrically, and then step back and just take purchase upon a stool off to the side so I can watch this guy who just came in. Peracchio, that is quite the tale, my boy. And like he just tur like stops mid, and usually he's greeting everyone that comes in. And you know, but when this blue cloaked figure enters, he starts slinking back. And you can see that this figure is just completely robed and stalking, you know, just with a presence, and just walks in, and just through the visage of. You know, the dark interior cloak just looks over the, gra the the group and just looks past everybody and starts heading towards the uh, back rooms or the kitchen. How, how did Parekios respond to this? Uh, he's cowering. He's, he's, he's right. like, you know, he's usually a welcoming, jovial fellow, but this time around, he, he's not. And his little posse starts scattering around and making sure folks are, you know, kept away. I think we gotta get to the kitchen and get to the basement. Yeah. I'm gonna start slowly, I'm gonna stand up from my stool and just slowly sort of start inching back. How far can we get in this turn? 
No, we're not like in mirror. <laughs> you can get near. <laughs> like, double where, move? A double near? Yeah, where do you want? Oh, like, you could get to the doors of the kitchen, depending on which one you want to get to. Uh, where's the doors of the kitchen? These two doors here. Okay. So, is there any advantage to going to the far door if we were to try and Yeah, you wouldn't be seen, yeah. You wouldn't be seen? If you were going to go sloop around and try to get into the kitchen, but he's... By the time you get there, he's going to be in the kitchen. Yeah. But he's not going to notice you. I don't think we have time for this. I think we run for it. Let's go. All right, so I think we're going to so just like... I think we're just going to sp- sprint into the kitchen. Does that sound... I'm with you. All right, let's get in there. So we're in the kitchen now. So like in front of him? Yeah. Yeah, okay, sure. Or somewhere, yeah. So you guys sprint into the kitchen and you can see this figure just like, stops and his boot just stud in the ground. I'll have a burger, medium rare. Oh, yes! Coming right up. We saw your group and we thought there might be an order coming. Send us to and start pretending that I know what I'm start doing. Start a burger with yeah, sure. In the yeah. army, I've cooked many a burger. Yeah, yeah. So let's get well, We cooked them on the fronts of a shield. <laughs> All right, so if we go over to, like, the cooking area. Yep. Mm-hmm. What, is, what is the figure doing? He's letting you do his thing. Okay. He's just standing there? Oh, no, he's... What are you guys doing? Well, we're kind we're of pretending. To, yeah. Are we pretending or are we doing it? I, I think we're. There's a difference. Yeah. <laughs> I, well, I'm kind of fumbling I, around. It's, oh, I should have had that drink earlier. Whoops. <laughs> I'm, I'm going to start grabbing ingredients and, yeah, let's try to whip some food together. <laughs> At least Hit. start the process. You guys certainly have enough time to put things together, but as you're engaged in this burger making, he takes the opportunity to just keep progressing. No, okay, so that's what I was trying to get at. True, but (laughs) if you are engaged in this opportunity, there's going to be a little exchange of him like, great. So he's going into the kitchen towards the base. Towards the back. So with that, as you guys are grabbing the lettuce and tomato, while you guys are in that, he's walking past. We're going downstairs. We're locking that. (laughs) We're keeping that this... He's locked. Yep. Kum, kum, kum. And you can see immediately Miss Biggs. You feel a draft coming in from the far corner of this room. And again, it's filled with supplies. Like, you know, little tarps for the tents and crates that are just hammered shut. Hammered shut? Yeah, nailed shut. Like, you know, they're like sturdy crates, just like who knows what's in them. But you can you can feel like a like a draft in, uh, in the the foundation of the. Oh, in the foundation. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You can you can immediately tell that there's some sort of draft in the in the foundation, similar to what Kel felt in the uh, other room. So is that giving like there's like a small hole where like you know small creatures might be able to come through, or is it like there might be some kind of opening that a person might be able to fit through? A, sp- a hole that a small person might be able to go through. Okay, and then I want to try to look at this hole. Yeah, so, okay, yeah, yeah. It's enough, it, with enough time and effort, especially of a person of your stature, you yeah. can squeeze through that. I, f- I, found a, I found a hole this way. Yeah, Cal, you, you have uh, uh, uncovered two more locked doors, and there are, like, um, supplies in here, like uh, strange beakers and vials filled with different sands... And um, you know, uh, 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 pages that are, are are like kept very neat and separate, like a page of a book, a page of a book, but it's like in its own stand. It looks like someone's like cataloging and archiving something here. Hmm. There's a laboratory in here. Well, you, you gonna go in the hole? I'm gonna check out the other side of this hole. You investigate the laboratory. All right. I, there's nobody else down here. We should be free for a while. Yeah, everything's locked. <laughs> yeah. yeah, and you similarly felt a draft in the other room as well too, but you didn't explore it. Yeah, I just figured I wanted to keep picking, keep mm-hmm. yeah. seeing if there's any, any more of interest in here. Is there like a door that's, I mean, not like a closet looking thing? I feel like we've opened a bunch of closets. <laughs> <laughs> these are these are rooms, probably the size of these rooms type of thing. Like okay. they, they seem the map seems small and your miniatures seem big, but okay. these are actual okay. decent rooms. Store rooms. Yeah. Store rooms yeah. No, yeah. no, no. Loose. They're you know, like the size of this room that we're in. Yeah. Okay. Um, if not bigger. I'm gonna I'm gonna go to the rest. Keep opening doors. Somewhere. Sure. It's gonna take two rounds. Yeah. Okay. Sure. And you're gonna squeeze through. Mm-hmm. Okay. Yeah. 
Whoa. Herman's been fumbling around. Yeah, okay, so the, you guys are sort of over here at the kitchen there. Where's, where's the Oreos? I didn't say I got that far there. Okay. <laughs> no, 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 no. I that seems kind of far. Oh, That's not fair. It's abstract. These are abstract. All right, all right. Well, I tell you that I am going to be between myself and the, or the figure in the door. Sure. I would have not gone that far. Okay. Okay. To the basement, that is. Soft limits. Tell them soft limits. I. Do you have any emergency measures in plan? I, I've got one. <laughs> so, <laughs> so I would like to try and get this figure's attention. Excuse me. I'm. How how did you want that? Medium. Well, you, you look like you look like a well guy. Are you a well guy? And what about your size? I want to try to get him to turn towards me. Take it up with them, and you can see there's like two of the uh, the lackeys have entered the doorway. <laughs> so okay, that's not working. So I have a and he's he's trying to brush past whoever's there. He's I've just got a large pot of grease, <laughs> and I'm going to trip and dump it right onto the open flame. Holy moly! <laughs> oh that's gosh. a big blaze. Getting, getting all of these uh, counters here. So I'll give myself a whole bunch. One, two. Oh, great. Awesome. This is a perfect time for that. So you trip and fall, or, you know, fake your trip and uh, uh, splash the grease into the fire when, beyond your expectation, it starts erupting in the whole kitchen around it and it immediately starts catching the surrounding walls and tabletops on fire. Fire escapes this way. I'm going to smoke for the, for the stairs. I'm doing the same. I'm going into the basement during the fire. The <laughs> and Can you smell that? Yeah, you, 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 you know, the, the, the lackeys like you know have a moment of, but you know they look towards and the the, 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 fi- the fi- figure in the blue cloak presses on and he, with with his determination they know they can't back out. So, where are we now? Have we gotten into the basement? into the door there? You guys want, yeah, let's roll initiative. Let's see, we'll start going around an initiative. So we're gonna do initiative, everyone. You guys can join in as well too. We're gonna roll. Highest goes first, and we'll D20. go. Just a d20 plus your dexterity. I have advantage. Oh my god. You have advantage, so roll it twice. Yep. I got 14 total. With advantage? Yeah. You roll the d20 twice? Yeah. Okay, so 14? Total. Great. Even, we're going clockwise. If it was odd, we go counterclockwise, so. We're going to start with Miss Biggs. You're down here. You're yeah, squeezing through. <laughs> You're glad I got that one out of the way. Yeah. It's going to take you, if you want to keep progressing, You're. it's a small, narrow passage. And, like, you're tight, but you... Yeah, you, double actually, near. You double near. You keep moving through. Yeah. You keep moving through. And you will be enveloped in darkness if Miss Biggs leaves. Oh. oh. That's okay. I got my own torch. Okay. Uh, so you're going to light your own torch? Yeah. I do... It's going to ride on this one hour, but yeah. Yeah, yeah that's, that's fine. Yeah. Same. Um... But well, no, no, no. Does, he, mean, does he leave before the I, I open the next next thing? I guess I'm opening like something over here. Say Because I was lockpicking again. Yeah, right? in here. Okay. If you want to go in here, yeah. Okay. Yeah, I mean, I was, I was doing that. Yeah, so. yeah, you can open it, you'll, and you'll have your own torch, yeah. Okay. Yeah, I'll, I'll turn on my own torch, and I open them. What, what's in the closet? Uh, yeah, you find, um, what is it, like, preserved animal parts, mm. like a glowing eyeball that it mm. looks like molten lava, but in this special substance just keeps it from extinguishing. Mm. You find claws that are just like nasty obsidian bone, just like this strange, uh, uh, you know, dark black onyx material. And yeah. it's, it's of a of, of a quality you've never seen before. Onyx, you say? That's right. That's right. That's right. Um, Similar to what you've seen, it's just like jars of it on shelves and stuff, and of these strange. Yeah, so I get the feeling somebody is experimenting on something. Or yeah, or at least collecting and and, catalog- and cataloging. Yep. Okay. Um, is there a connection between like the onyx stuff and the animal parts in the other room? And not that I can tell. Not yeah, not in this amount of time. You could try to deduce. Okay, no, I think it's time to go um, catch up with Miss Biggs. So I'm gonna go catch up with Miss Biggs if I can. Yeah, yeah. Where? 
into the hole over here. Okay, yeah, so you, you're gonna search and kinda, you gotta make your way there after doing what you can and make your way halfway into the room. You have a torch lit yep. for that, yep, okay. And so, what was, what, we're doing clockwise? I was supposed to be clockwise, but we went kind of clockwise, so you're up, Senex. <laughs> I guess he was trying to question before Miss Biggs' turn. Oh, oh okay. yeah, yeah, yeah. Yes, 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 yes. Okay. What is the general relationship as far as how this robed figure and the lackeys are positioned? Are they positioned behind him as we have on? Yeah, yeah, but they're in the kitchen. They're all in the kitchen. Okay. If I were to kick the robed figure, could I kick him into the lackeys and cause a pile up? You could certainly try. I would love to do that. <laughs> okay. A bold move. And into the fire to boot? If there's a fire nearby. Sure, well, it's a general. To you're gonna generally going to try to... There's a fire nearby. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, okay, go for it. So you're going to try to man maneuver and handle this person into his own lackeys. Yes. All right, go ahead, make an attack roll. It's going to be a 16. Do I apply a strength mod? Yep. 18. Okay, so nice. you manage to get your hands on this figure and you push him back and he stumbles back into his lackeys and, you know, they kind of pile up and, and, you know, they hold him up for a second and but they're they're a little bit startled enough to halt his progression, but he's, he's immediately retaliating. All right. You also uh, need to move, right? Yeah, I was going to say, yeah. can, I, can I make a beeline towards the, the stairs then? Yeah, sure. Mm -hmm. So you start booking it to the stairs, the fire burns, and you just feel the, the presence of this blue cloaked figure. And you know, he you know, like, appreciates his lackeys, but you know, like, kind of sends them forth, and the fire's raging, but they're still kind of like tied up enough for them to miss their turn. You're up. I'm hauling ass down the stairs. <laughs> yeah, okay. Let's go, man! All right, so you start hauling ass down the stairs. Can I close that door now that we're both in the, in the stairwell? Yes. Is, you want, there yeah. any, mm -hmm. is there any kind of fastening that I can do to it? Are there any locks or any bolts? Uh, there's not, but you could try to move some stuff around in this room. Do you see any of this shit? What, what could we grab? <laughs> yeah, there's, you know, there's like boxes and crates yeah. and there's like this store, store stuff, store goods. Yeah, all right. So we're just going to like, well, and I can't speak for settings, but I'm going to be like behind it as I'm coming in, just barricade the door. Fire safety. Yeah, I mean... Just kind of pile and stuff. Sure, yeah. Stuff. It'll, it'll tie them up, but with the three of them there, they could, at this point, they could probably burst through, but it'll take a turn for them to. Right, right. Okay. Yes. Cal. Uh, I'm going to try. Yeah, okay. So you you're, you can see things. the rem remnants of a torchlight, and you make your way there, and yep. it's a small hole like compared to, to to you. You know, it's So could I fit? You can. It's going to take you more time to actually get through, though. Uh, I yell, Miss Biggs! I'm just, I'm just trying to see where it, where it leads. I'm coming right back. <laughs> okay. Um, and I'm gonna continue. Is, so this goes anywhere? Uh, or is it? Did we open all the doors? You've opened all the doors. All right. I'm gonna find my own hole in this room. <laughs> okay. Mm -hmm. We felt the draft. I'm sure. Gonna, yep. I'm gonna try to investigate that. Yeah. I, I, actually, as as you're you know navigating and you've noticed that the one of these uh, store shelves. Uh, also has, as you've been searching this room, sort of like a hollowness to it. You think there could be a secret door behind this particular mm. one. All right, I'm gonna turn whatever knobs I feel. Yeah, yeah, it, the door, you know, this uh, whole shelf itself has sort of a track system and with your secret thieveriness, you manage to uh, open up a passageway. Okay. It goes deeper into. You can see some torchlight ahead. Nice. Miss Pig. So this goes to here? Mm -hmm. Is that you? Yeah. yeah. Okay. How'd you, how'd you get there? Uh, it's like one of those old mansions, you know? You just move the book. <laughs> so you're at a crossroads. You can go deeper into the small, or you can, you know, hear you hear Cal's voice into the larger opening. Uh, let's link back up. I'll go for the larger opening. Okay, so you, with your double move, you pop out, and you can see Kel has just slid the uh, shelving unit out of the way, and immediately, you guys, from what you've seen in this basement, which is this almost modern construction, this inner part has an otherworldliness to it. It's uh, like, it, it feels like aeons old. It's the remnants of another building but the walls have kind of caved in. The construction is completely different architecture from what you guys have been in upstairs and in the basement here. 
It's almost as if like the tavern and the basement were built in or around this other uh, uh, place. Mm. This place is otherworldly. <laughs> <laughs> Our information was right. It's got to be here. Senex, what are you doing? All right. I would like to go to the bottom of the stairs, mm-hmm. turn around, and ready my spear. And the second I see any of them come through, throw on it. <coughs> throw on your spear? Okay. And what do you. It, it, I, hang on. He's still moving I got a plan. stock crates and stuff onto so, the door. Don't right. impale me. So I see you, like, you know. I'm, I'm getting ready. Okay. Yeah, yeah, so do I see any kind of pointy objects such as, well, I don't know. Kitchen knives. Yeah, yeah kitchen yeah, knives. Sure, yeah. Okay, any kind of like sticks, maybe for spit roasting animals. It is a tavern. Sure. Yep. Right? Yep. Right? Yep. Mm-hmm. A couple of roast mm-hmm. things. Mm-hmm. Great. So I'm going to grab one. How many can I carry? You say, you say you grab three. Okay. So I grab three big metal skewers. Things, skewers yeah. yeah. Mm-hmm. And I'm like, hey, come on. So I move down the stairs. I tie our trip wire with my rope on the stairs. So can I toss you these things? Here. So I toss them these spikes. <laughs> and now so, so I've moved to the stairs. It's going to take you some time to make that trip wire. So okay, I'm gonna, so I'm gonna start to make okay. the tripwire. They'll probably bust through the doors by the time you're finished with them. Yeah, so I'm I'm around the curve of the stairs. Mm-hmm. So like they'd run around and be at the top of the stairs, mm-hmm. and that's kind of where the tripwire is. Okay, so I'm mm-hmm. working on that. Is this the bottom of the stairs? Yep. Okay. So yeah. I like to th- I think like the camera's on this room. It's like completely dark. We exit. Noise cuts out, and then as soon as we exit, they come down, and it's just like noisy <laughs> as hell again. Yeah, absolutely. It's just like a moment of, yeah. and these figures are now entering. Yeah, absolutely. So you're doing your best to search the room, and you begun you begin making this tripwire. Right. Okay. Okay. Yep. So Cal, you see Miss Biggs uh, through this this cavern, this this passageway here. Your torchlight illuminates. Yeah. I mean, there wasn't really a plan, so I, I think we keep going. Forget about what they're doing up there. Uh, yeah. Let's find this map. They'll find us eventually. So yeah, so what is this? Is this like some kind of well? As you go and investigate, you can see that it is a round pedestal, you know, probably about your height, and around the circumference of it are smaller rings around it. And they're like loose rings. You can move them, but they, they are, there's just dust collecting on them. And the larger uh, pedestal seems to be a larger version of these smaller rings, as if they were to interact with one another. Is this like a puzzle? Uh, it's not really a puzzle. It doesn't seem like it's a puzzle. It seems it seems very ornate. But you think like you could like take them and like you know pogs or spin them or do something with these rings oh, on them. You know, like flip them up onto this <laughs> onto this uh, altar. You want to p- face me in pogs? <laughs> Let's go. <laughs> Stack them up and then smash them. What's the smasher called? I don't remember. Yeah, it was way too long ago. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, is there any type of writing on these rings? Like, is it... Yeah, they they have an inscription on them, and they look like ancient runes. Okay. And a script that you're not familiar with. I'll copy down the script and, like, my notes. Yeah, and each of the rings are different. They're a little bit different. I'll copy down at least one of the rings. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that, that'll take your time. That'll take time to do, but yeah. Yeah. Um, okay. Give me Senex. Yep. So you're at the bottom of the stairs, readying your, uh, spear. Is that all you want so to do? Are we? We're kind of like aware of that. Yeah, they're communicating. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. I'm, so I'm making a trap, man. You're, I'm you're making, making a trip wire at the top. I'm ready. So like you're With holding your ground. Yeah. Like, Can you use these skewers that I got? Uh, I think they'll trip on those or what? I will. Like my thinking is they're gonna fly down the stairs and I'll, I'll yeah I'll I'll set the skewers. Get impaled. I was and thinking my you know, spear. This is like, a, like a you know fireplace like at not bottom. like a shish kebab. Thing, but like a big, you know what I mean, for like a, a lamb or something. Put yeah, it yeah, and the I, fire is still will, blazing up there too. Excellent. I, yeah, I'll I'll essentially make Greg like, like a, a a palisade thing between the skewers and and my spear at the bottom. Okay, mm-hmm. it's like one of those little yeah, yeah. spiky traps. Yep. Okay, great. 
Okay. okay. So have, cow traps. have we finished setting up these traps on our turn? It, you, you will, but the, you can hear it up above. Push, heave, up, and you can hear like the door like busting open, and oh, oh, you know you can you can through the floorboards. You can see like the smoke and the fire, you know, roaring up above your heads, and like no one's tending the no one's dealing with this fire. It's, it's burning half this tavern right now. Our boy. Uh... Arrakios has got it covered. Don't worry about yeah, it. Arrakios is on the, the fire line. <laughs> oh my God! I hear him running around. Take there. It. <laughs> you guys are now as far as us. Never again. Okay, so you hear these people my start tower. busting through, and there you can see the shadows at the top of the stairs. So, do we have moves or no? Uh, it's no, gonna. Yeah, it's, they're they're coming through. It's your, okay. your turn now. Um, All right, I'm gonna Herman. get my bow ready. All right, sure. Yeah. Yeah. And you can see, you can see a figure. One of the lackeys at the top of the stairs start coming down. All right, gotta shoot him. All right, is go he on, aware go. of me? Down in these dark shadows, I'd venture to say no, because we have run away from them. They wouldn't know that we'd still be waiting for them. So you guys are in the darkness. Nah, in the shadows. <laughs> we're, we're, you know. There's a little there's bit a of fire. They're, 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 aware they're aware of you. Behind, yeah. They're, they're aware of you. Yeah, they're aware. Yeah, they're chasing you. Right, yeah. fine. So I'm going to shoot this guy. That is a 13. Just enough to hit him. One. How, how does that sound? He's hurt. Groan. He's very hurt. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Oh, son of a... Oh. You can see the other lackey pushing his way through, trying to come down. Okay. All right. I mean, I'm just exploring with Miss Biggs. Um, yeah, you similarly, you come upon this altar, and you're like, you can see a fallen pillar, and there's just a construction of uh, yeah. it's a, a, a building here, a structure. Okay. And there's another altar, like half covered by. Yeah, I mean, rubble. we can't. I don't think we can do anything in like initiative round to do. Can much we kind of see? You could like, you could do something with the, the rings if you wanted. Because uh, I think it interact with the with the altar. Yeah, I mean, Miss Biggs is investigating that already, mm-hmm. so I'm not, I'm not I'm not gonna help or anything like that. That'd be crazy. <laughs> <laughs> can we see like a little flicker from over there? Yeah, yeah. Okay. Yeah, you can see their light definitely through the. Oh, okay. Can, okay. We, can we hear them? Okay. Can you hear nah, them? I mean, you hear stuff going on, but they're in darkness. They don't have any light, yeah. but they can see you guys because you have your torchlight deeper in the chamber. Okay. So okay. So we. Kind of all right. Just let me know when when we like. Yeah, I think we're meet. probably gonna want to engage. Not, yeah, meet, not meet, but like hear them. Or, yeah. Would you guys call out to them? Uh, I didn't on my turn. I don't know if I would can like retcon you? that. Yeah. <laughs> hey, where the hell did you go? You two. <laughs> I mean, you guys want to just blow your cover hey. or whatever? Yeah, you definitely could just call, you call to them and make yourself known. It's just you don't see them, you don't notice them. There's so much going okay, on. Yeah, so they I mean, won't I mean, notice you, but you you guys notice them. You didn't know we came down here. Though. Yeah, we did. Yeah, yeah I guess yeah. nobody else knows, but at this point. I think the, I mean, you guys are in trouble, right? <laughs> yeah. yeah. Hey, there's a, there's a, there's a calamity. What do you call it? A, a, a catastrophe up here. <laughs> <laughs> We're having a disaster. Um, okay, with that, then I'm gonna, I'm gonna say, stay here. I'm gonna go see what that was. They, obviously, I can't hear what he's saying exactly, but I'm gonna, I'm gonna see what it is. I'm gonna backtrack. Sure, you start heading back in, and yeah. you can see on the floorboards fire burning, what and like the? yeah, you can hear people like upstairs like sh- running around, like you know, heavy footfalls. Herman, don't ask. <laughs> this is supposed to be a stealth operation. <laughs> Our cover's blown. <laughs> uh, I'm gonna draw weapons, which are daggers. <laughs> yep. So Cal pulls out his daggers, and you can see they're primed for something. As you bring your torchlight, and you can see that they're you know the light cascades over them, and you see. Uh, Senex there with his spear ready, and they devised this sort of like you know, uh, you know, a uh, spiky wall system. Okay. Um, well, uh, they're gonna they're gonna go down these stairs, so it's kind of a uh, I don't know a choke point. I'm gonna try to hide somewhere else. Once they get pushed back, I want to try to get yeah, hide uh, that light. Hide that light. Yeah. Don't let them see us. Snuff out the torch. Mm-hmm. Oh no no! Don't do that. <laughs> <laughs> just, they're valuable. Just put it away. You can't relight them. You know. <laughs> Yeah, just just put it under your coat or something. <laughs> I mean, I think it's better for us to be in darkness here, no? No, random encounters. And they'll have advantage on you guys if you're in the darkness. Okay. <laughs> I guess sure. that was just more of like a, I don't want them to see our traps. No, well, I, but yeah. Yeah, I don't want to be in darkness. <laughs> Okay, okay, sorry. Scared of the dark. So, I mean, I, is there a place that I can hide my light? Um, yeah, you could put it in the other, like the, the laboratory room that you called. 
It's like, kind of like a half light type thing. Yeah, just like a half light. But I want I want to like hide in this room or something because they don't know I'm here, right? So I'm trying to hide somewhere. So once they get through the traps, then I'll be able to be yeah. useful. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So can I hide in here? Yeah, sure. All right, cool. Thanks, Miss Biggs. Um, okay, you said something about interacting with the rings. Like, can I spin them or do something? Like, what? yeah, yeah, you okay. can. Okay, so you take a ring, you know, a small little ring, and a varying color, and, boo, and as you as you spin it, it's like and this illusion pops up, and you see this like little halfling, just you know, ha you know, upper torso shot, and this halfling has like a scar, like missing one eye, and she has just one eye, and she's looking out, and she's like doing her best to p c compose herself, and she feels like out of time. Like her garb looks very regal and very fancy, but ancient, you know? It's like gold encrusted vest and like braids in her hair with a gold little, little foil rolls and stuff. The only thing that is an eyesore is literally the sore of her eye. Like it's, it's completely scratched out or removed. And she's standing there and she's like, we have come from long ago across the way. I hope one day we shall return. I know that my family is gone, but we came to this land. And as the thing starts spiraling around, it just clunks down and the illusion fades away. Oh my gosh. Um, all right, I want to continue a little bit deeper. So does this area look like it was once outside or inside? And I'm trying to find some like- Inside. Okay. But it's now encrusted and shrouded by its cave, inner cave work system. I'm trying to find maybe like some wall sconces or like some place that like they would have had light in this place potentially. Sure, yeah. And I want to look for that, like somewhere like around, like like continue deeper. Yeah, a lot direction. of it is the walls have caved in. Like you're not gonna, you're not, you could, you could make, you could fashion one with some rocks sticking a torch like in okay, between okay. some rubble, but it doesn't seem like there's anything. Fancy, at least around these parts, but you can keep okay. searching around. Yeah, yeah. I want to move. I want to use my movement to go that direction. Sure, yeah. All right, we'll leave you there for a second, if, unless you want to try to finish up putting your torch somewhere, but like it no. opens up into more of the. Well, I mean, there's another ring there. Is this ring yep. spinnable or is this not? Look yeah, so it's like this is an altar, and then around the perimeter of this are little small rings, like, you know, eight or nine of them, and you picked up one and boom, spun it around. I see, I see. Okay. And it, when you saw that, you felt like it's like looking at your great grandmother. You know, you had this in initial familial connection to this person that seems like great, 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 great. Like it. Then I'm actually gonna take that ring. Like I'm okay. gonna keep it. Senex, you can see that these figures have burst through the top and they're 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 making their way down. And one of them has a, a, a bolt sticking out of his gun. Right. Have they reached the trip trap yet? <coughs> Not yet. Not yet. Mm -hmm. All right. I would like to set. Yeah, no, we've got. The, the rest of the, the spikes around, right? I, I just want to sort of set my spear with them in hopes that as if anybody falls, like I am there to. Yeah, uh, yeah. So it the thrust. The, the, thrust. You know, the person, you know, the guy who has a bolt sticking out of him, he gets shoved by another one of his lackeys, and he pushes forward and gets falls down the stairs, and he's like. If he falls, I'm. I'm go ahead, thrust. Yeah, go ahead, thrust. Roll with advantage. He's down there. Ready for you to... With advantage, you said? Oh, yeah, he's on oh, the ground, right. on the stairs, yep. All right, so that's going to be a 19 on the first. Also a 19. Oh, <laughs> yeah. Nice, so you, yeah, so you thrust in him, and go ahead, roll for damage. Yep. Three. Three damage? Three damage. <laughs> <laughs> he's bleeding out big time. Still up, though, or still... <laughs> he's pretty much dead. Okay. Yeah, he's incapacitated. Not worth your attention. Got it. All right, right. So I see the other figures. Yep. Uh, well, the they're coming over. down. It's their turn. So. Yep. Oh, right, right. Yeah. Get in, jump the gun. Let's see. Okay. So you can see the yep, these figures are coming, making their way down, and they, there's uh, there's more than just the lackeys you've seen now. There's like more figures in the mm -hmm. in the stairwell. Well, are these guys fire resistant. <laughs> No, you hear them screaming and stuff. Like some of them are trying. You're not sure what's going on out there, but they're 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 fighting this fire big time. But okay. they're they're pushing. They're pushing forward. All right. So now I'm just gonna. Is the boss there yet? 
Nope. Boss is not there? Mm-mm. Mm-hmm. Mm. All right. I'm just going to shoot another arrow up there and okay. see what happens. Oof. All right. Well, that's a nine. Two fives. Yeah. That's right. Okay. Any ideas, guys? <laughs> Are we just going to hold the line here? I mean, guy? There's only one person here. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Kel, what are you doing? You're hiding here. Uh, you can feel that breeze. Oh, yeah. I mean, while I'm waiting. It? Yeah. Where is it? Where is the breeze coming from? Right behind you, it seems like it's it's like a false wall that could... Another s- false wall? Mm-hmm. Okay. I mean, are they breaking down the stairs right now? Or, like, is, am I... Do I have a turn We're before fine. they get there? Before you I get... have a turn before they get there? It's, it seems like it, yeah. All right, yeah. cool. Um, yeah, I'm going to press on the false wall. Yeah, and it slides in, and it's, it's, you can see that the perimeter of this wall is like of a, of a of strange metal that's almost like it would have uh, protected it from, you know, uh, magic or scrying, and it just has like a seal that... Once before, you, it, before it closes all the way, is there a way that I could reseal it? Like if From I, the other like, side? From the other, like yeah. if I go past it. Mm-hmm, yeah. Um, and what is the the draft coming from? Is there a way that I could conceal it? it, it it's coming from this uh, open chamber that, no, like the way the, the secret door with the metal around it, just like the, the draft is coming through it's that. Just, there's just a gap there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh yeah, I also forgot to say on my turn, keeping in mind we are on a timer. <laughs> yeah, um, can I like cut some rope and fill the gap? Like I wanna get these guys through and cover the gap so that the then close the door cover the gap so that the draft doesn't show so that we can sneak away yeah it'll take some time it'll take a round yeah let's do that i think i found an escape guys and when you move the door aside you can see that there's a circle of runes inscribed with a similar metal mm-hmm. and the metal looks like it's like volcanic metal like it's a, a very strange and mystical sort of uh, uh, material that mm. it glows with like little flecks of, of embers and lava and magma. Is that this little room? Yep. Mm-hmm. Okay. Oh, okay. There's not more. No. Okay. It's just a small okay. little room yeah, with a circle in it. Never mind. Scratch that all. And you feel, <laughs> you feel like the cir- this circle has like uh, uh, teleportation magic if you were to uh, utilize it. Uh, um, I want to investigate and try to use it. I feel like maybe lighting on fire maybe does something. I don't know. You feel like you could just walk within walk it and utilize it. the... All right, I'm going to walk into it. Are you communicating anything nope. to us? No, nope, absolutely <laughs> not. Great. Hey, guys, I... Yeah, I think I found a way out. <laughs> I think I found a way. <laughs> okay, well, this is like teleports. Yeah. Yep. Okay, roll a d6. One. Perfect. Yes. Sure. Yeah, perfect. Let's go. You (laughs) teleport, and you feel like a rush over you, like your body has moved a great distance. And it appears at the top of a mountain, a a volcano, in fact. And the volcano itself is like, (laughs) like sending these giant smoke rings into the sky. And you overlook a giant ball salt desert. And at the base of this volcano, you can see these salamanders like, like, like milling about, going in and out, some sort of fortress that is at the base of this. And you just are overwhelmed as you look off in the distance and you know the orientation of the, where the moons are and they're, they're, they, they seem to be aligning in such a way that you have never seen before. You are far and away from this known continent into this unknown continent. And then you gather your breath and then you reappear back here. Mm. And that whole rush just leaves you just breathless and just like or the wind knocked out of you. And if like, tr- like jet lag times 10 as you just have flown <laughs> across the, the, the seas. Miss Biggs. I'm going to go deeper. <laughs> yeah, 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 you're going deeper Classic. and you can see a locked door here. And as you approach, you can see there's this basalt hound like this giant sculpture of a dog you can see with black onyx claws and just these eyes that just are completely carved you can see that they're deep they look like deep marbles but everything's black rock black basalt rock it's uh a sculpture that just sits on a pedestal here 
and you just continue, and you see two of them flanking an entryway in here. Yeah, I'm gonna head towards that entryway. So is this still all underground? Yeah, okay. yeah, it's all underground. And it, yeah, you see these, you know, uh, beautifully carved stairs that lead up, and it seems like you're in this building, an ancient building that has collapsed, uh, um, uh, you know, from the dirt around it, you know, has been covered or just submerged underground. So that'll be your double movement there to get there. Let me uh, see. <laughs> Perfect. And as you approach, you can see that the, the, the claws of the dogs just... And you can see the eyes just like just start cracking and lava magma just, just flares. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Good Senex. Things. I got it. I got it. Don't worry. <laughs> Uh, do I have more goons coming down the stairs? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, you do. <laughs> oh, there's a rope here! They start coming, flipping. They come flipping? They're just... They're <laughs> they're no, 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 no. I mean, they, like, jump over, you know, they... Uh, they, they <laughs> cartwheel, they cartwheel <laughs> down the stairs. They're hey, just up ninjas rope. all of a sudden. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> they're walling up. Yeah, I mean, it, if any of them are close, then I'm withdrawing my spear from prior. Yeah, and you, just... you can attack one again, yeah, for sure. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, you are holding down this. That's going to be he has the 17. Look you hit. All right. <laughs> it's over. Oh, all right. Uh, seven. You skewer that one, and he falls to the ground. Ooh. You know, he's choking up this stairwell here. Just bodies just filling the, the stairs. Nice, nice. Pile them up behind the iron spikes. <laughs> 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 yeah, pull, drag them over. And you can hear from up above. Find another way, and you can just hear like wood being smashed. Oh shit! So there's no more guys. No, there, there's still more guys. Oh, there's oh, about okay. to be guys behind you. <laughs> how, how many do I see from my vantage point at the bottom of the stairs? The one, the two that you killed, or the one, the more that are coming down. There's like at least two more in there's the stairwell. At least two more in the yeah. stairwell. Oh, you can tell there's a mass of bodies here, like in this in this small store. Okay, all right, good to know. Herman. Gonna shoot him. Go ahead. Yeah. Actually, I'm gonna move back slightly, more towards, you know, taking a few steps back from the fray. Sure. Yeah. And especially with Senex up front. Yeah. Spirit, I don't need yeah. To be in the front yeah. line there, and I'm gonna shoot. Okay. So 19. Roll for damage. Four. Oh, he's still alive. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Um, Cal, you see. He, uh, yeah, you, yeah. You don't see anything. You're, you're standing yeah, breathless in this alcove. Yeah. Uh, I'm a little dazed. And I you can see, see that the sigils around, like ooh, they, they lit up and then and then faded. But there's like other sigils in, that haven't even been activated. You think like maybe there's other destinations this thing could go into? Yeah, uh, but it's not going to keep me there permanently. Is my is my thing. Um, and we're under imminent danger, so I'm going to uh, come out and say, never mind, not an escape. Very cool, but uh, are we good here? No, not at all. <laughs> well, there's a cave down that way. We can go that way. Senex, you want to get out of here? Retreat. <laughs> <laughs> Let's get out of here. Let's go. Gonna start moving that way. Or what? Yes. Screw. Well, we can't move yet, right? I, guess I can. Sorry. Yeah, you can. Yeah. Oh, which one's you? Oh, my bad. Yeah, 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 yeah. sorry. Move the wrong guy. So you're kind of leading the way. Yeah, leading the way for them. Okay, great. Okay. So, Miss Biggs, you can see these lava hounds crackling out of their ball south skin. So, and you can see there's yeah, more passageways. Yeah, is there a door behind them, or is it? There... It was. It looked like a giant double door, like a like a giant library <laughs> door, just smashed in. On one hand, if they're here, they're probably hiding something. No, I'm gonna, oh gosh, yeah, I'm gonna back up. You're gonna back up? Yeah. Uh, like towards, towards, yeah, I'm gonna double back up and be like, Kel, Kel, Kel! <laughs> Kel's gone. <laughs> and I'm gonna use my stealthy to turn invisible. <laughs> Okay. <laughs> nice. <laughs> While yelling. <laughs> yeah. All right, Senex, what do you do? All right. Uh, I would like to make my way toward the cave, 
spear at the ready, sort of in a prepared to throw configuration. Mm -hmm. um, so yeah, I'd like to scoot over. First okay. Yeah, go ahead. Yeah, it was one is double move or? Uh, how far will that double move get me? Will it get me? You could get into the chamber if you wanted to. I don't want to go that far. So okay. I, yeah. I, I will just single move. Yeah, I'll get you to spear at the ready to like yeah, sure. mm -hmm. this general mm -hmm. vicinity. Yeah. yeah. I'm just at the ready. Okay. Is that it? That's I. Yeah. Okay. Great. So you can see these figures start coming down. You know, we can move two of those uh, lackeys down as they are stepping over the fallen lackeys and they're choking up this whole thing and trying now to get over the spiked wall that you've set up. So that's it? That's what they're doing. And you can hear uh, Kel and uh, Senex here to your right in like the laboratory room and you know, the wood, the wood floorboards above. They're like banging through the wood floorboards above. And you can see the, the, the fire. Yeah, yeah, they're using the fire to their advantage to like yeah. burn this, this, like this, this part of the wall, you know? At least it's gonna get break. All right. <laughs> What's the matter? You two hadn't had enough, huh? All right. Well, uh, I have. So I'm gonna, <laughs> I'm gonna hustle over there. Okay. So you double move over there. Yeah. yeah. I'm so running as well now that we're all grouped up. Uh, yeah. How far do I get? Trying to disengage much much into the door. Mm -hmm. Yeah. You're moving. Yep. You can. You can double move if you like. Okay. Screw. I found him. <laughs> Invisible. <laughs> Miss Biggs? <laughs> <laughs> Do I see the dogs? Not yet. Miss okay. Biggs. Um, Miss Biggs is going to say, dogs, dogs. Dogs? What, Hot dogs. <laughs> <laughs> Are you doing anything? Um, I'm going to move this way. Yeah. Double? Yeah, double. Yeah, stay about there. Yeah. I'm like still back. Like I'm looking towards this way. So he's you backing away from the dog. You want to get on I'm this? Backing away. Yeah. yeah. Okay, I want to. Yeah. Just kind you of guys like backing, down backing. Down. Yeah. yeah. Like you don't see each other. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. We'll be safe in here. I'll be safe back there. You guys like crossing <laughs> back and forth. Like. Okay. Senex. Uh. I would like to make my way to the passageway entrance here. And again, spear is at the ready. I'm not attacking just yet. Okay. So, however, I can do my best to sort of sure. zone defense that passage. Yeah, absolutely. You can see that they, they come forward and, and they, they hold their positions up against some crates and they're, you know, making a passageway, obviously, for this boss to come down. But they, they don't pr pursue we, any further. Can we see, by the way, that this was like opened behind the bookcase? Oh, the, I, yeah, I yeah. You guys can deduce. Oh, okay. Yeah. <laughs> what? I just made up the bookcase. I don't remember what was. I'm it now. <laughs> yeah, it was like a bookcase. It was like a shelf. Yeah, yeah, yeah something like that. So but. we can see that that's been slid over on like a rail of something. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. oh. It might reseal from the other side. You wanna? So, that's yeah, so anything that's else you want to do? Because I, mean, I, 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 I think you're done. And now these lackeys are moving in. And I mean, if, there's, if, there's, if, if I can see some mechanism to seal this off, then, yeah, let's... Oh, you want to go in and seal it? Mash the button. If that's... If that's yeah, yeah, if you, could, yeah, if you guys want to go yeah, in, yeah, yeah okay. let's do that. Sure. So as you, um, you know, from behind, move the, the shelving unit back into place... <laughs> It slides and clunks shut uh, in front of Senex, and you know that as the thing slams shut, the torch goes dark, mm -hmm. and you are there within the confines of this inner working where you can see the glow of the eyes of these lava hounds just start stalking you guys from within the inner chamber, and they just start you know, had their eyes set forward to whatever is in front of them as you guys are scrounging in darkness. Oh, those dogs. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah it comes to, to light, literally. Uh, well, I'm gonna, I'm gonna light up this torch. Yeah, I think, well, I'm, I'm, uh, yeah, I'm there, my torch goes out, I'm instantly like, oh shit. Sure, it'll wait, take wait, a wait, round if you guys yeah. wanna. We don't need two torches, I think, yet, do we? Yeah, but I'm just saying, like, 
mine, mine's like, the one that went out, right? Right, right. So like my yeah, first all the torches is, in, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Right, and yeah. Miss Biggs is too. But my one of ours went out. Okay. So I'm just saying. Like, so you have two? Yeah, I have two. Okay. I only have one. So I have zero now. You have zero. I've got two. You've got two? Okay. So in that case, just you know, if you're gonna be lighting start lighting your torch, yeah. then I'm gonna hold off and I'll come kind of you know, feeling my way in the darkness over to you with my dagger ready. You know, I'm not sure what I'm going to do with the dark, but I'll just be ready for that. I'll save my torch for now. You reposition yourself? Yeah. So yeah, I'm going to be kind of. Next so as you, to as, yeah, as you turn the corner, you, you, you can see yeah these lava hounds like their eyes blazing. You can hear the cracking of the ball salt skin <laughs> as they like are flexing from their dormant state. <laughs> <laughs> and you're you're lighting your torch. Yeah. Yep, it's gonna okay. It's gonna take a round. Miss Biggs, you're shrouded in darkness, standing on this pillar. Oh wait, it takes a whole round yep. to light. Mm-hmm. I see. Mm-hmm. In this moment, might be so I can see their eyes. You can see some floating things. It's not enough. Yeah, you have a target. Yeah, yeah. Can I, can I yeah take you'll have a disadvantage, shot? but yeah. Well, if I'm invisible, would I normally get advantage? You would, sure. So we'll say you roll normally. Yeah. yeah, yeah. I, and. I believe you're invisible for three rounds. So that's yeah, fine. three yeah. rounds. So this it is it doesn't round. end. It's not like magical invisibility. Are you keeping track of oh, that? Oh, does it? I, I'm going to say no, because it's this uh, halfling yeah. trait ability, and I think it's you're just invisible for three rounds, right? It's well, yeah, not. That's what it said. It was the last time I used it. You said if I attack, then that would end it. Then that's what I said, and that's, that will happen this time. Okay, okay, okay. So, yeah, I will make an attack. Uh, 17. Yeah, so normally, yeah, as you hit, roll for damage. What are you attacking with? You throw Crossbow. You, you, <laughs> out of nice. the darkness. Yeah. And oh, wait, are they unaware of me? Now they are, yeah, because of your invisibility, so backstab. Okay, so how does backstab work again? So you're going to roll your weapon damage, which you did. Yeah. Then you're going to roll plus an additional weapon damage, so roll it again. Four, yes. four and four is eight, plus an additional one half your level of weapon damage. So you're level two? Yeah. It's gonna be one. Nice. Four, four, four. Okay. So your bolt streaks through the air and it goes through the mouth of this lava hound and it erupts in this giant pool of lava just as lava just pours all over the ground. Lighting up the room. It immediately oh. solidifies. <laughs> Wait, does that? Uh, for an instance, and then it solidifies into a giant pool. Nice oh, shot. Yes. In the dark. Wherever that was. Yeah, what <laughs> was that? <laughs> that was me. Was that you, Biggs? Always. Cracky. Xenex, you're up. You s- hear some commotion behind you. Yeah, uh, I'm going to head toward the commotion. Uh, Ooh, I would love to you sort of jostle past my compatriots here. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Knocking us all down. Oh. Can I? Uh, it's about, yeah, you're like do, here. Do that's, I, a, that's a movement right there. All right. Do I, do I see the these eyes? Do I? What? what, what yeah, 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 yeah. You see a cracking ball salt skin opening. Magmas, lavas opening up. Just a big slice of uh, 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 down the body of this hound. This is the moment. I'm throwing the spear. Okay. We'll, you'll make it with disadvantage. Question, sir. Mm-hmm. Um, if you have a disadvantage and you use a luck token, you will roll it again at disadvantage. Okay, interesting. Ooh. Intriguing. Yeah, interesting. As opposed to re-rolling one of the dice? Yeah. Re-rolling the lower one, right? one yeah. might say. I, I said I was going to do it. I'm going to stay with it. Go for it. Yeah. Okay, so the first is a... 22. Jesus Christ, this guy's good. The second is a 9. Oh, unlucky. Lock token? So, all right, it, it, it is the full roll again. It would be both dice It'd again. Both dice again. Yeah, I, I'm, I'm just calling yeah, right now. We can talk about it later. I think about my quest to find my place in the world now that I've left military service. I can find my way. And I think about the future prospects that my time, the Volpe Sargento, my brain. And I use the lock token and I'll roll that again. 
13. Uh, six. Oh. <laughs> and it flies astray. Alright. All right. So. Dog eat time. Let the dogs out. Let the, who let the dogs out? Miss Big did. Okay, so now the hounds <laughs> race forward and attack the spear, Chucker, Senex, and they do their best to finally. Well, first, let's see what happens here. Great. Nothing. Oh, actually, I didn't even need to roll that. Okay, so. And then <laughs> they lash out with their magma mouth and they will get plus one on this oh a crit fail actually they rolled advantage because it's darkness nice good for me but not good enough <laughs> wow. so they, they you managed to defend yourself what are you using to defend yourself oh i am warding that off with my legion issue shield shield <laughs> you can just see it just these magma fangs just drip with hot lava burning on the uh, face of the shield and you hear some commotion in the other room behind you. Things are things are shifting back there. Mm-hmm. Um, okay. And then it is now Herman's turn. All right. Well, I'm going to shoot the dog. So disadvantage. I'm aware. All right. That's a seventeen. Oof, that's a one. Crit fail, huh? Yep. So. Uh, yeah, we'll say your uh, your crossbow jams, and you it'll take a round for you to unjam it. It is a short bow. Short bow. Then the short bow, you know, the string gets tied up, you know, breaks or whatever. Yeah, yeah. Ah, right crap. Yeah, yeah. Right. Right. Shit. <laughs> Sorry. So I'm fumbling around with my bow string. But you could just forgo it and do something else. I guess. Yeah. Later, yeah. yeah. I mean, I have. A- Okay, Let there be light. Dagger. I don't really want to like yeah. dagger this hound, but <laughs> dagger the hound. So <laughs> Kel finally ignites yep. his Jesus torch. Christ. Yeah, we're back. <laughs> uh, and you're all squints oh, at the light in your faces. Yeah. Um, torch goes up. I see one dog. Uh, <laughs> yep. Burning up. Uh, I only have a dagger, so I'm just gonna run up to it and stab it on the side. All right, go for it. Uh, D20 plus zero? Come on, man. That's crazy. Eight. It's rock hide is impenetrable. Your dagger sinks, sparks off of it. No damage. Okay. Uh, do I assume with that that I won't be able to damage it? No, you can do it. You just didn't break his armor class. Right, cool. You didn't strike it in like a vital spot yet. You're up, Miss Biggs. You see this hound biting into Senex's shield. He's a crop. Yeah, is it, is it, am I able to position myself in such a way to like try to maybe like get behind it? Or like, what is this area that I'm on? Like, is this any kind of cover that I can use to take another shot? Yeah, you could. You could just hide behind here if you want to take another shot. It's aware of you, you won't get backstabbed. Okay. Okay, okay, okay. More that goes off in the distance here. Um, yeah, 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 I think I'll just take another shot. You, you can't also get backstabbed by maybe, like, flanking or anything Mm-mm. like that. Okay, no. It's just, okay, okay, yeah, I'm just gonna take another shot. Six. You like, use your luck token. I will, okay. actually. Tell us a moment. Um, I think that Biggs and Kel were talking, like, you know, by the campfire, and Biggs is just like, you know, sometimes... Sometimes I get quest fever, you know, like sometimes I just, I see something and I want to know what it is or where it goes. Like I want, I want the treasure, I want the gold, I want the fame, but I also just want the adventure. Like I want to be able to tell the story, like I want to be able to say I defeated that monster. Like I shoved its head onto the spike of the Iron Bull statue. Like that's what I want. (laughs) That's beautiful. (laughs) As a prequel, yeah. (laughs) Okay, 12. Your bolt lands true. Roll for damage. A little campfire moment. Giving you the life of adventure she's Five. always wanted. Five. Ah. Do you add anything to damage? No. Okay. Just straight for <coughs> So, yeah, those two are... Those two tokens are... Are spent. Are spent, yeah. Get out of here. 
All right, so magma erupts with your bolt landing into its ball salt hide, and it seems to turn its sight on you. Ten X. You're gonna, you're gonna keep moving down? Yeah. <laughs> you're gonna move back. <laughs> so you're gonna be in darkness. He backs up into two more dogs. Uh, <laughs> you don't have a torch? Yeah, I'll back up like right there. Sure. You can see this locked door up here. I'll move to the locked door, like back to the wall. <laughs> hey, a door. All right, Senex. Are you gonna door. allow this hound to get to Miss Biggs? I've been here before, fighting the war hounds of the West. Shield still up from the parry. I draw my short sword and thrust. All right, roll for an uh, roll for an attack. That's twenty-one. All right, roll for damage. Uh, da, 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 D six, three. <laughs> this hound is on his last legs as you're cutting into it deeply, and it instead just turns its sight to you and tries to lash out for a bite. The German class here. Yummy. Fourteen. Here we go. We need a yummy, uh, yummy. fourteen or high. I need a twelve or higher. Oh, crit hit, baby! Oh. Woo! All right, so this hound on his last legs does his best to crunch into you for 2d4 damage. <laughs> seven damage. I have seven hit points. Oh. So you feel the intense heat of this lava hound bite into you. You will also make a constitution roll. Oh, interesting. All right. Uh-oh. This might be the end. 15. Okay. As you feel this lava just course into your blood, this magma, uh, but you, you, your body withstands it, but you still fall to the ground unconscious. Ooh. And go ahead, roll a d4 yeah. for okay. your death timer, and we this will determine how many rounds. You can mark them right here. Okay. It's not to me what? So three on the D4. Plus your constitution modifier. Oh, so four. Okay. Nice. So four. Right. So right. it will be one. one. You'll be fine. Plenty of time. Yeah. <laughs> so you will die one, two, three, four at the end of that round, yeah? Four rounds. As you see Senex <laughs> fall to the ground as the magma's dripping off the oh. mortal wounds as the uh, onyx claws claw into him very deeply. Okay. A, sh- a blood curdling cry. And that's your round. That's the monster's round. And you hear movement from behind, and things are shuffling around. I'm gonna, uh, <laughs> gonna stab it. <laughs> Herman, <laughs> gonna stab it. Here we go. Oh my Wait, god. Wait, wrong, wrong die. Oh, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. okay. Thank you. the wrong one. Thank you, D12. <laughs> yeah, thank you, D12. <laughs> yeah, okay. All right, so 13. Roll for damage. Three. And as Senex falls to the ground, you have a burst of motivation to end this hound's life. And a pool of magma. So as I heroically lunge, then I kind of see the magma pool. And ooh. <laughs> lunge back <laughs> yeah. as it falls on right. the body. Um, I'm going to grab Senex's legs, or one leg. Gotta stabilize him. Uh, I'll look shrewd. So you can, it's going to be a DC 15 intelligence check to try to stabilize. Um, yeah, we're a party without healers. They're coming behind us. Our friends are coming. We don't have a choice. All right. I'm we got to help our friend. You said DC what? <clears throat> 15. 15. 15. I think you can also fun. move then, right? You can stabilize and then move. If, you if he succeeds. Yeah. Right. Come on, baby, I have plus zero. Fourteen. Fourteen. Oh, no. So what do you describe? What are you doing? Um, I'm wherever he got bit. I'm ripping off a piece of my shirt and like applying pressure or whatever. Um, I I don't know. I don't have the knowledge to do anything yeah, else. I, know, I can't wake best. him up. I just I'm trying to make him not bleed out. The magma is just interfering with that. Boom! Just burning the effort. Miss Biggs, we're gonna do the same. Coming we're in, trying to aid. Yeah. Thirteen. <laughs> What's a memory that's going through Senex's head during this time of dying? During this time, I remember <laughs> gently swaying fields of wheat from when I was young. Nice. Farm. Nice. All right, roll a d20. Oh, if you get a 20. Music. Yeah. <laughs> Five. 
All right, one round. <laughs> Keep track of that. <laughs> you could hear, you know, stuff in the basement still happening. It's a contrast to the very thing that's Are going on here. Are you a doctor? Maybe. <laughs> I don't know. Let's find out. Yeah, oh, you guess I am. Give a little smack. Get up, man. <laughs> so, what do you do? Give I give a little smack. smack. Get up, come on. They're coming. So you you, you cauterize those wounds. The lava, you know, you use it to your advantage. And <laughs> yeah, yeah, I just kind of like... Use a stick and... Use his shield to like... <laughs> Throw some dirt on it. Yeah, throw, throw some water. So, Zenex's wounds are cauterized. He's no longer dying. He's still Zenex, unconscious at zero hit me? points. He's still at zero. Oh, yeah. So, do I see like a little flicker of. Uh, like his eyes yeah. kind of. He's like, he like, takes a breath like, and. Bring me to the field. <laughs> 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 Stops convulsing. <laughs> but there he is. He's, he's still unconscious. And... Let's drag him out of here quick. Let's Our go, friends are go. coming. And I'm literally going to drag him. Actually, does he fit on his shield? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. All right, perfect. I'm gonna load him up on a shield, and I'm gonna pull from the shield. Wait, before we decide the direction, Biggs, did you see anything down here? Any escape route? I didn't. Oh, where'd those hounds come from? The other way. <laughs> that looked like an escape route. I don't know. <laughs> I didn't see. <laughs> I was too scared running from the house. Fair enough. <laughs> I don't know why I'm still shaking. He's awake, right? <laughs> it's like, I'm fine. But we can go that way. I just you stop the seizures. You're not supposed to start them oh, again. Shit. I'm not a doctor. <laughs> <laughs> Right, okay, yeah. yeah. So, so, yeah, so as a towards the, the thief, double doors. oh, my background is scout. Okay. Mm -hmm. As a scout, Great. can I try to look for the fastest way out? Like, can I try to determine which direction we should go if we want to find an exit down here? Yeah, so you feel like in what you've managed to assess of this location, it feels like it was once a great hall, maybe the library of sorts. And if there was an entrance, it would be obviously on the perimeter, but you can't quite get the sense of where that is here. As a scout that you maybe have looked around the surrounding areas. Yeah, because I, 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 you saw me scouting. Yeah, yeah. I was definitely scouting. I, I, scouting was done. <laughs> yeah, I feel like you feel like there's no entryway other than the ways you've come in. Son of a bitch. That's bad. I, you haven't scouted all the perimeters and there's could be different ways. Right. Yeah, they just say, let's go that way. I have maybe that's what we came for is over there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Library map. Sounds right. I don't think what we came for Oops. is... Well... <laughs> <laughs> Our friends are still back there. We're down to three. I don't know how much more time we have down here. I think we can get out of here. Um, well, we I, can't go back that way. We need to find... Well, we could go that way. There, there's secrets everywhere. Let's just keep going. I'm reliving basic training, prompted by the smack, <laughs> reminding me of my superior officer, <laughs> sort of oh, no. inducting me into the Legion. <laughs> We're going away anyway. This All right. Yeah, I'm not, do we go this way? Yeah, we're yeah, going right. that way. So I'm going to help drag. Can I drag that far? Is that about it? Yeah, that's about you. About there. Yep. Who's got the torch again? Yo. Yeah, oh, okay. So. Yeah. All right. So yeah, you're you're drawing closer. You can see the pedestals of the where the lava hounds once stood, and you see another one of those altars there as well, so with rings around the perimeter again. And then shoot. Um, might be able to activate those those altars, but I don't, I don't think we have the time. Yeah, to I don't anything. think it's probably here because you 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 stabilize them and drag them. Well, yeah, no, I mean, Kel dragged them once. Oh, oh, over, oh, drag them a second. Okay, drag. sorry. Yeah, okay. Are we still acting in turn? Yeah, in yeah, 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 we're going around. Okay. Um, well, I, yeah, I want to. If we get to this, we see the doors. I want to go through the doors. Sure, yeah, as, as you cast more light, you can see more of these uh, pillars with the rings. These pillars are so weird. Yep, and as you, um, as your torchlight falls within this room here, a couple things are going to happen. So you see here that you've entered the remnants of a grand library. There are pieces 
of pages and books and scrolls scattered throughout the remnants of this once magnificent hall. And the architecture looks, looks archaic, arcane, dated. They don't make it like they used to. You know, these are things that look out of time again, buried underneath the walls here. In this giant pit basin, there's a mound of books and scrolls. It's a giant pit that is collecting all of these things. They look like they were thrown and scattered in there. And it looks like a, like a not a funeral pyre, but it looks like it's a, a place for burning. Mm. Oh, our map could be in there. Oh. A map and a book pile. How the heck is this under the burning bridge tavern? <laughs> well, I think makes... the, the burning's happening over there. Yeah. Yeah. It's the broken bridge. It's now the burning bridge. <laughs> <laughs> and you can uh, see often down in the distance, uh, um, you hear commotion in the distance. And, and Do we feel the draft? Nope. <laughs> nope. Nope. You see torchlight, though, down here. Mm -hmm. And it's approaching you. Mm. Oh, if I just move this napkin, we could see what it is. <laughs> <laughs> Get that napkin out of here, Kevin. <laughs> um, yeah, I think we, we... So there was double doors, right? They're smashed double doors. Oh, they were smashed. once double. Yeah, like, it's... it's let's rebuild them. <laughs> um, yeah, let's enter the library. There's... Yeah, that's where Miss Biggs is headed to the library. Sure. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, you can double move there. Very Senex. likely not to be the way. Go ahead, roll a d twenty again. Let's see if you can. Wake up! Swap and leave. Come on, Senex. Nope. Four. Okay, that's your loss. Okay. Um. As I go in here, and Senex is just not convulsing on the ground, but still unconscious. Um, uh, I remember one day when we were having an adventure out in the forest, me and my dad, and uh, I was dragging him out of the forest, <laughs> not on his shield, but by his two legs. And uh, I just kept trying to wake him up, dump water on him, whatever, and he just would not wake up. So I had to face the danger alone, but not today, not today. What, are you gonna have him reroll? Yes. He has to get a 20, right? Yeah. Oh, really? Yeah. Man, fuck that shit. <laughs> <laughs> There's a beautiful it, story. Do it, do it. Come on, do it, do it. Do it. Come on, baby. Eight. Oh. <laughs> well, oh. it was a beautiful So close. Right. Cash today, he cared about you. He cared about you. Yeah, thank you. I guess today is the same thing. Yeah. We're living the same fate. <laughs> exactly. So are you also dragging? Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, you so both joint like dragging. Dragged. Yeah, you guys are coming in here. So how far can you drag? Like, into the space here? Mm-hmm. Okay. So I'm kind of getting in here. Oh, wait. You're dragging? What did I do? I guess I'm dragging, too. You're so dragging now he's, you're, real, you're, he's you're, really in here. Mm -hmm. He's super yeah, in here. You guys are all in here, and you can see, yeah, the, the remnants of a library scattered and destroyed and distraught and hasn't been touched in centuries. Okay. At this point, when I was back, when we were back in the basement i guess we're still in there but when we when i was back there i found a little corner obviously this place was made by some arcane greats from the past there was a it teleported me guys it brought me somewhere else what no way yes <laughs> a volcano of some sort that Teleportation was the way out magic is <laughs> that was the way out okay um there's got to be another one Volcano, a lot of stuff going on here today. I don't like this. Who feels they have an affinity to the lava hounds? I woke them up. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Sonic's got killed by them. <laughs> <laughs> um, well. Interesting. We heard commotion, so I'm still kind of panicking and looking for a way out. Um, and you get this one. Oh, good. Now that you've had a moment to reflect, you can share that or... Just... Great. I think the volcano, that, that could have been the volcano of creation. That I saw? Yeah. A place where the chaos of the cosmos is at its most. Abrupt. Well, uh, 
Maybe we can find another way to get there. Because right now, no <laughs> chaos is abrupt in here. Yeah, it's just <laughs> chaotic. I agree. So you guys are in this library searching and having a moment of reflection. I want to see if I can find anything interesting, the map or any interesting books. Any information about the my grandmother? Right, Biggs, wait, what's wait, over in this corner, Biggs? I'm, I'm calling on it out. Biggs, do you see anything over in that corner? I don't have a torch. Damn it. And also, you're looking through the piles, right? Okay. Yeah. yeah. And uh, oh. meanwhile, I'm still dragging him. I'm going to start dragging him in that corner mm -hmm. with you, I guess. Yes. Oh, we're going over here? Yeah, I think yeah. so. Okay. All right, so we're, um, we're double dragging. Maybe yeah. we can get about this far. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um, and I, like think back to Miss Big saying that about the volcano. I'm like, I've never heard of the volcano of creation. Um, obviously I have. Uh, and yeah, let's keep going. <laughs> okay. As in into the room or I mean, it doesn't seem like there's any path out of here. If you guys are, you know, opening these doors, they're unlocked, you're moving in, you just feel the passageways getting smaller and smaller and they're collapsing. Uh, yeah, the, 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 the collapses are getting narrower and narrower. It's just shit. And you can see, like, underneath the, the rubble, there's more of this library, but, like, it's been consumed by the aeons of time as this the, the earth above is crushed down upon it. So there's no way out of this library from what we've seen. No, but, you know, there's from these things. Explored. Yeah, there's... You guys... I assume are like looking through what you can with the books and the scrolls and so on and so forth. I mean, not really. <laughs> well, I think you said that. You yeah. said that, yeah. yeah. Okay. Mm. Wait, yeah, us two are looking for an exit. Yeah, That's, I think so. I'm trying to find an exit in the books. Look to the books! <laughs> the page master now. All right. Yeah, I'm, I think I'm gonna put um, Senex down at this point because I'm kind of like not seeing any way out down this little passageway. So I'm gonna start like rifling through the, you know, things looking for a map of some kind. Yeah. Gotta get that damn map. Yeah. What we came for. So as as you guys are um, rifling through each of the books, you hear commotion coming from down the corridor, and it's drawing closer. And with you guys, you know, tucked away, you know, looking around, you can see that it is none other than your friend, the big boss. <laughs> like I was just always like, <laughs> I am, yeah. And you can hear the voice of Cruel Tuck, uh, leader of the Preservation Society. This faction seems like someone that Kel has has sorted past with. Mm. They are assorted folk, <clears throat> pent on. Finding the deepest, most ancient artifacts and darkest secrets that have lost their way to time. And they seem destined to come here to find this map that you guys have also been searching for. So they haven't found it yet. They're, they have their sights set on it, so they believe. But we've looked here. Uh, it's a huge pit. You guys have, oh. yeah, it's huge. Like, it's like, you could have to jump in it and swim around like Needle and Haystack style. Oh, okay. seriously? Yeah, oh, yeah. okay. That's our only way out. Just <laughs> <laughs> swim to the bottom. <laughs> Did we light it on fire? <laughs> <laughs> Whoa. Um, so we got a crossroads here. Yeah. Go ahead, we'll give me another roll. 20. I am dreaming of the first time that I was wounded and fell in battle. Mm -hmm. You'll be dreaming for a while. <laughs> <laughs> By crossroads, do you mean we're stopping? <laughs> no, we're at a crossroads we're, we're here. Like, here. I, it depends on what you got. They, I, I will say, you know, they don't really know that you guys are here. They can, you know, if they wanted to pay attention to the torchlight around the corner, but if you guys wanted to tuck yourself all the way back there, you just have the feeling that Cruel Tuck is here with his lackeys. Yeah. I think we can jump them. We're a bunch of thieves. So you we don't have to fight on us. <laughs> no. <laughs> thieves in this game is funny, man. Oh, yeah, so my bow has been fixed by now and all this time. Yep. Mm -hmm. All right. Yeah. I think um, we can take them out. I, and I say, they've got to be looking for the map. Yeah, but we are looking for the map. 
can we can burn take the map. them. We're not burning the map. I'd rather get the map than burn the map. <laughs> what if they get the map? And then well, it unleashes unspeakable evil, and we all die. Well, I was planning on unleashing unspeakable evil no matter what. Exactly. Oh, <laughs> Who did I end up with? <laughs> uh, Fine. Let's leave. Let's leave. Um, sorry, what's your name again? Senex. Senex. Let's leave Senex over in this corner. We'll tuck him back here yeah. in, the, and, uh, in the safe area let's, there. Let's can we try it. to ambush them? Like, how does this work as a group of thieves? Like, can we? If you'd like, yeah. Yeah. As soon as they walk in, we want to like pepper them full of. Sure, yeah. So, all right, I think, yeah, I've got the bow, so I'll be over here in the. Mm. Is there any way I shadows see? here? Not holding a uh, torch, so I'll kind of crouch. This looks like a little table, maybe they're like reading nook. What I what I want to do is there any way to climb up on the rubble above the entrance? Oh, and then jump down on them. Yep. Oh and I'll carry the torch up there so that they look up like a Zelda fucking boss fight. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. <laughs> exactly. Spiders on the ceiling. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, if there is, then I want to be on the other side. So it's like the three assassins, like when you walk into a room and the three assassins just jump you. You guys were searching over here. If you wanted, you could try to get over there. Yeah. And I'll we'll, we'll see if you get noticed or not. To the, the other side. The other Someone room. wants to get on the other side. No, oh, Miss Biggs does, and I want to climb up. And you're sitting here. Yeah, is the, yeah, like, is it possible for them to climb up and for me to get to, like, are those bo both of those things individually possible? Yeah, yeah. I, I, I just think it. if you're trying to scurry across, you're gonna, you could get seen. Yeah. yeah well, well, I don't want to scurry across. I want to, like, scurry, like, around the Okay, back. sure. Great. Yeah. Narrative justification. I would agree at that to you as a, as a halfling, as a, as a thief, and as a big pile of, of uh, yeah, 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 great. Books. So you, you do it. And uh, you Hide went over here. Yeah. yeah. They're hiding right, over there. Cool. And, uh, Trying to climb up. Kettle's climb up over here. Like above mm -hmm. the entrance. Go ahead, give me another roll. Set X. Set X, set X. I was going to roll the early. slow recovery. Standing <laughs> up on a crutch, <laughs> trying to get will myself. Well, these memories help you, Senex, because you will yourself one hit point. <laughs> you will yourself one hit point. But you will be at disadvantage. Oh. You will roll at disadvantage, but you are alive. All right. After this time of, after some time has passed. Okay. All right. If you got that natural 20, you would have been helping. You can stay down. <laughs> you can stay down. <laughs> I mean, I think at this point. <sighs> you have your spear. Do you have another spear? I do not have another oh, spear. My sword spear is pro but I do have my short sword. Mm -hmm. I, I would assume. So. Well, well, maybe we got it from like yeah, when we were dragging your path. Yeah, we threw it on, yeah. the, on the thing. Yeah. It's important to keep your spine straight, so it was a good support to keep that straight <laughs> while you were on the shield. Sure, do you believe that? I'm a doctor. <laughs> 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 nice. Okay. Sure. All right. If that's the case, then I'm I'm just gonna be. Peering around the corner with my spear wait, wait, wait. ready. Okay. Which corner? This yeah, like, after seeing, yeah, 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 after yeah, seeing yeah, us all ready with weapons and stuff. <laughs> yeah. So the cruel tuck figure in his blue robe and it just in the dark just slightly shimmers and shines. Go there. Complete the task. These two goons start walking in, unbeknownst to everyone in the room. We will ensure that the Preservation Society is the only ones that has this knowledge. You can see that they, these two have torches and they're, they're going to the, the funeral pyre. Can I take the shot? Yeah, yeah, you, you wanna shoot take the, shot. the lackeys? Yeah. Cool, yeah. I wanna ambush them. Would this be like advantage since I'm hiding or just a regular roll? Uh, yeah, I'll give you advantage, yeah, and they are unaware. All right. Thank God. Uh, 13. 13? Yeah, you hit the lackey. Roll for damage. Okay. So Just enough. Two. Seven. Ooh, 13. <laughs> oh! And the torch, you know, falls to the ground. Let's say I want it lands where it wants to. No. So it's scattered off to the side. Seems like they're trying to burn the thing. Well, so whose turn is it? Freak. Uh, Senex's turn. Clockwise. Yep, keep it going. All right, I am throwing my spear at this other lackey. All right. 
Uh, you can roll with advantage. Who's, who's got the torch around here, too? Me, it's yeah. up on the ceiling. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh, that's a 21. Okay. Great. Roll for damage. So you toss your spear out of the darkness and it flies through the air. Uh, seven. Oh, and it kills this lackey as well, too. The torch on a one, it lands where it wants to. Okay, scatters off to the side. And smoldering. Oh, they're trying to burn the paper, the, the yeah. stuff. Mm-hmm. How did they have the knowledge already? <laughs> I guess they got, the, they got the knowledge. All right, so do I have a line on this guy standing in the doorway here? Yes. I guess we're shooting. So I'm going to ready my bow. How can do you do it? has his arms up like that. Yeah, he's just he just walks around like this all the time. <laughs> no wonder it took him so long to get down here. He's like, I okay. want a burger. <laughs> Medium rare. <laughs> I want a burger this big. <laughs> he's still thinking about the burger. All right, so 15. Um, your attack flies through, but he has this dumb luck that allows it to miss once per day. An attack that would hit misses. So he is aware of you now. He's aware of all of us. He's aware of everyone now. And he's furious. Luckily, his his dumb luck has come to his advantage. Um, Has he walked into the doorway, the entrance? He has not. No, he's. Oh, he's, he's not aware of it. He has an attack, has he? No. Well, attack. I mean, he's. Well, okay. Number one, I'm on the ceiling, so he can't be aware of me. Of course. Right, right, right. <laughs> well, he's aware of something here. Yeah, but he knows. He knows he's going to battle. Like he's not. Yeah, gonna right. Be yeah. Yeah. Okay, so I mean, I'm I'm waiting until he goes to the door. He's not there. He hasn't moved I, at all. Yeah, I can't do he it. sent his lackeys I'm, in, and they got jumped. I'm holding, holding firm, because this guy I want to take down because it's personal. It's personal. So what do you do? You're going to wait? Wait. Wait. He's right. These other guys come in. Okay. Okay. Good. And, oh, it's not even my turn yet. What do you do, Miss Biggs? I'm taking a shot at Big Boy. That Big Boy? Go for it. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Oh, ah. Crossbow? Um, yeah. And jams. Okay. Nat one. Crit fail. Jams. You can take a round to unjam it or move move it along. Okay. Okay. Senex, you see a lot of commotion going on. You see two two of those figures fall, one of your spears and one of them. I'm drawing my short sword and I'm gonna creep up. Oh wait, can I also move Just to that? Yeah, where do you wanna move? So is this path open, like this, like going yeah, that direction? It's, yeah, it's all rubble and it's gonna take up movement to move, but you can get through. Yeah, I wanna get through that. Yeah, so you can take another movement to finish it off to get actual mm-hmm. through, yeah. Mm-hmm. Are those doors locked down there? You don't know? They were locked from this side. Yeah. I wanna see uh, if they're locked from the other side. Okay. I didn't know if you knew from that side. Yeah. Okay. Your turn, Mr. <sighs> Mr. Shadow Dark Master. Where are more of my meatheads? And he starts calling people from further away. Let's see if he can. Um, meatheads. Dude, yeah. He's really obsessed with burgers. Yeah, he's a burger boy. So he's gonna, so let's see. We need a 12 or higher on this. Okay. He does not call. What's his name? Cru- Cruella? Cruel Tuck. Cruel Tuck. Is that one word? Yeah. <laughs> That's great. Can I taunt him to, to make him discombobulated? <laughs> he sends his lackeys in. And uh, one of them tries to throw a dagger at you, Herman. And phew, dagger flies away. <laughs> and another tries to throw it at you, Senex. 14 or higher. Yeah, 13 or higher. Mm. 17. <laughs> oh, oh. Four damage. Ah! Wait, 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 wait. Oh, oh, you're right. You can re-roll. Nice. You want me to re-roll that attack? So Herman is... Uh, Good play. Herman is, you know, 
loosening up here and he's, you know, shedding off his regal bearing, being a noble born uh, person that he is. And now he's, you know, rolling his proverbial sleeves up and he's getting ready. And his firm stance frightens this, you know, little lackey, little lackey into uh, trying his attack again. Let's see. I need a 13 or higher. Oh, oh, 13! So close! Oh. <laughs> and you take damage. <laughs> and you fall to the ground. Go ahead, roll your, roll your d4. Push your on, motherfucker. Senex, this is what you're built for. That's right. Take hits. Oh, oh no, he's so dead. He's so dead. He's so dead. <laughs> so that Wait, two? one, two, two rounds. <laughs> no, you could just add to it. He is so dead. <laughs> I'm not gonna make it. <laughs> Two rounds, so one, two. All right, Herman, you're up. I'm gonna shoot Let's this go. Guy. You're not gonna save your fallen companion, huh? I don't know, man. Like, what am I gonna do here? So I can still see this clown? Yep. All right, I'm gonna take a shot at him. Oh, God. Uh, 13. Yeah, roll for damage. Oh, wait, which one? <coughs> the big guy. The big guy, okay, yep, yep. Cruel tuck. Three. Cruel tuck. Three damage? Yep. Okay. Ah, you will not stop us from collecting what we need. Um, is there a way for me, when I dismount, to swing and jump behind him and backstab him? Like, from the entrance? I don't know. You want to swing and jump? Go for it. But jump over him? Yep, go for it. We will, you'll swing and jump. If you can land the jump, we'll say he's unaware. If you can't, then he's aware of you, and you can just get your normal attack. Okay. Right. You're going to need a 15 or higher on a dex check. Oh, I'm a minus two dex. A minus two dex? <laughs> I don't <Nice>. understand. <laughs> <laughs> Are you a fighter or a thief? <laughs> 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 Do the old Tarzan. Uh, oh, 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 oh. <laughs> so I, I, I swing myself. So you swing and... But I fall way short. So. It's face plant. <laughs> Not that bad. Um, yeah, I yeah fall, you fall short. I get down on my knees and um, I try to recover. It's obviously very clumsy, but I face up with Cruel Tuck and I go to swing my dagger uh, for his neck. And, I and he looks you over. You know what we're after. It will be ours before it is yours. And I don't even say anything, and I miss completely because I love this game. <laughs> when he dodges your dagger, oh, you are insignificant. You're always trying to steal our stuff. It's not yours, Cruel Tuck. It never was. Your life will be mine. No. Put it in this little bottle <laughs> and save it for all eternity. You're up, Miss Biggs. I'm going to run that way towards this door. Yes. And is it open from this side? Yeah, you can open it from this side. Okay, then I'm going to unjam my thing and I'm going to try to, like, you know, sneakily, like, because he shouldn't be expecting me to be coming from this way. So you can move and then unjam your thing and then yeah. that's it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. So I'm not going to attack yet. Yeah, you can't. You yeah. won't have time for that. Senex, no one's caring about Senex. Roll. <laughs> but he's funny. No. Uh, okay. What are you thinking about? Uh, he maybe, maybe one. Hit. That's how he died the first time. Yeah. Uh, this right. is the second time he's fallen. Like, it was only the... Yeah. You crit. Yeah. Yeah. so dead. I'm so sorry, but they ain't nothing we're doing. <laughs> yeah, not with these guys coming in here. Running through my mind. <laughs> And you can do it. Of my last terrible campaign <laughs> within the Legion. <laughs> and the dishonor that fell upon me as a result. Well, you're struggling with that severely. As you slide there, bleeding out, you have one round. Let's see what your compatriots will do for you. What do they do? Yeah, so this uh, Cruel Tuck turns and, you know, does his best. And he tries to dig deep within your 
soul, your morale. Using his stinging words, he draws upon the cutting vibe. What would, what would insult Kel? What is something he finds unbelievable? If I can roll an 11 or higher. Assault? Sorry, what? Insult. Insult. Um, if I can roll 11 or higher, here we go. And he doesn't. Okay. So he, he his paltry words <laughs> fall upon your stalwart fortitude. Just some yeah. paltry words. <laughs> you are nothing but a lily-livered coward. <laughs> exactly. And he, he steps back, you know, trying his best to, like, <laughs> coward. <laughs> Go ahead, put your hands up. Let me show you how to do it. It's like a bugged NPC. Who <laughs> 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 yeah, when the... <laughs> <laughs> and he tells, he tells his lackeys, get him, and they, they turn their about face. Oh, come on. Man to man, bruh. Man to man. One of them, they both try to jump you. What do you got? Oh, a nine AC. Okay, this should be good. We need a, a, a nine? eight or higher. One. Two crit, and that's 20. Oh, this is oh, a You are getting ganged Five. up. Ganged up. Thanks. Six damage oh, okay. on that one. Yeah, I'm dead. And you, and they just come and just stab you to the ground with these daggers. And the words don't hurt me, but it's sort of certain that <laughs> this is so bad. <laughs> this is rough. Man. This is Ew, rough. This is like a prequel, <laughs> and we're all gonna die in the prequel, bro. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> this Biggs is gonna die. <laughs> Get out. Get out. Sorry, <laughs> Miss Biggs. Oh shit! Oh, wait, no, it's, wait, my, on, right? it's my turn. Yeah. Um. Wait, so it's D4, a, right? Is it what? Um, so you're gonna roll a D4 plus, plus your constitution. Plus All right, I have plus two cons, so we're kind of chilling, kind of. Four. Four. So you got a little round tracker in front of you. You can. Oh my god. Yeah. All right. Yeah. Well, I'm gonna shoot. Uh... Does that count as a round? No. Oh. So when it comes around, that's one. Comes around to you, or comes around to, to you? you? Okay, so this will count as a round. Right. To my shoot cruel type. Oh. Um, yeah, yeah, I guess when it comes around to me. That's a good, that's a good question. I, it the would next say, time. I, I would say however many con, every time I roll a con. Every time you roll, yeah. So when it passes you, that's one. Yeah. Cool. So you have a chance here. Uh, 13. So I'm shooting Cruel Tuck again. Mm-hmm. One. Is he still aware of me? <laughs> He's aware, so one damage. Four. Okay. Burn it! How's he looking? Uh, pretty strong. Yeah, he's standing pretty strong. Great. <laughs> All right, yeah. you're up. What's uh, what's Cal right? thinking about? Um, how this dude is. I'm, I'm thinking about Cruel Tuck. His words never hurt me, mm. but, <laughs> but I it's... never could beat him. So here we are again. Three. I had to roll twenty. A natural 20, natural 20 will get you yeah. one hit. Okay, so that's your Kel's, Kel's bleeding now. Miss Biggs, what are you doing? You're, you're unjammed your crossbow. I'm going to try to sneakily take a shot at Cruel Tuck, hoping that coming around this way means that he is not aware of me. Sure, fine. I'll, I'll grant you that. Okay, okay. Uh, am I able to like do any high? Like, is this regular roll advantage? What are we doing? It's a regular roll. Regular roll, okay. Mm -hmm. okay. Two. Are you serious? No, Tokens? No, I'm gonna use them all. Nope. Y'all shouldn't have convinced me to use mine. <laughs> we did it. We said you shouldn't. <laughs> <laughs> but then, yeah, yeah, yeah. Right, yeah, right, but it's right. fine. All right, so the ball goes astray, <laughs> flying. <laughs> he still doesn't notice you because you completely missed. Yeah, <laughs> it's so bad that he doesn't even notice you. Okay. <laughs> Dude, it just goes like this. Senex. It wasn't quite this. Seven. Is oh the moment. Oh my god. <laughs> What are you thinking about as your last memory? Let's the, see. Ah, let's see. let's see. I very briefly open my eyes. I hear the sounds of battle in the distance. I realize that I did not die a glorious death on the battlefield, but in a dark hole in the ground. You fade away in the library here. 
bleeding out, searching for this map, a quest that has not been completed yet. And Senex dies away here underneath the ruins in the Broken Bridge Tavern. Actually, we're going to have this moment. Oh, we're going to have this moment. Oh, formality. Yeah, oh, yeah, we got this right here. <laughs> you pour one out for me? I'm going to do something great for you. We're going to do one of these. Oh, man. Rest in peace. Rip. Yo, you can already just like pre pre <laughs> Yeah, you have a chance. You <laughs> got two rounds. You have a chance. Senex, dead. Killed, bleeding out within the Broken Bridge Tavern ruins. Okay, we bet the show must go on. So, with you dying and you down, they go to pick up their torches and bring them to the books. Herman, you're up. He really is unaware. <laughs> <laughs> so is that bookshelf all the way over there, like, un totally unopenable? Oh, I no, you could open it from the side. Alright, I'm getting the fuck out of here. <laughs> I'm just running. I'm just sprinting out of here. Sure. Yep. In the dark. <laughs> Cal. Um, well, I can see their torches, I guess. Sure, 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 sure. All right, come on, natural 20. Come on. I always roll, like, the total garbage in every single game of ever of Shadow Dark. Just one, man. Just one. As Cal. What's he thinking about? Uh, it's going through his mind. Yeah. I don't know, man. He is thinking about his dad again in the forest. How he died that day. And how Kel's about to live the same fate because he couldn't wake up. All he needed to do is wake up. 10. Oh, halfway there. So you bleed out, uh, you're bleeding out. One, another round down. Miss Biggs, you can see Kel in the distance on the ground. Is, is Cruel Tuck still unaware of me? Yes, I'll grant you, he's unaware of you. Okay. <laughs> nice. okay. Nice. 17. Here we go. Here we go. This big, this Great, big okay. You, you hit. Roll for damage. Two. Two. Four. Five. <laughs> oh, and he turns his sights. You will be extinguished from this earth. They will not even build a tomb to your spirit. <laughs> Damn. All right, that would hurt. <laughs> I'm, I'm going to run. I'm, I'm moving this way. <laughs> you drop your bow. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, okay, you're dead. You're dead. So you you can see that these uh, these lackeys pick up the torches and start throwing them into the giant pit, burning the scrolls and everything. I'm assuming Herman is uh, running his way out. Double move, say he's all the way out over there, and this guy steps up as well too, trying to take cover from any of the. Uh, uh, underground uh, from any of the attacks from Miss Biggs and Herman. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Cal. Um, I think about the woman that I once loved. Uh, I really wish I still had that ring. <laughs> and how she's no longer with us either. And how I was fighting in this earth to be remembered for her and to build a place for her. The world that she wanted to live in. And I die with her. Six. Er, yeah, nine. Six. Six. Bleeding it out. It's Kel, this is a grim, a grim, dark, grim moment. Miss Biggs. I want to move forward. Like this. Yeah, like this way, and I want to take another shot. Oh, okay. Mm -hmm. Oh, <laughs> my God. Oh. Three. It's going wide. It's not looking good for you guys. <laughs> These guys are out of you now. They're, they're not even dealing with you. Okay. Herman, I assume you are running wildly out of here. Um, That's what I did on your turn once. But now you have an opportunity. We might be able to grab Kel. <laughs> yeah, they, they, they've just tucked their way in. They, they threw torches into the pit, and it, it's burning wildly. Miss Biggs tried to shoot again and missed. It's not looking good. If you grab Kel, I can give you cover fire. I'm not grabbing Kel, I'm sorry. I'm not fucking dying in here like everybody else. <clears throat> what are you doing? I'm gonna try to grab Kel. 
Are you? Yeah. Uh, so I'm over here. Mm -hmm. I made it out of this room here, and now they're it, coming in. Is they, that... Like they're just getting covered because Miss Biggs was firing at them, and they're doing. yeah, right, and okay. they're just like tucked away in there, and they you can see the roaring flame of the of the they're pit. They're dancing over the burning map. <laughs> so can I get over here? How far can I get in this move? Yeah, double move. Yeah, right there. Yeah, over here. Mm -hmm. All right, so I'm over here. Yeah, you won't be able to. Yeah, okay. Yeah. All right, guys. This is it. This is it. You either call me the survivor of the burning tree bridge hotel or whatever the hell we're in, <laughs> <laughs> or you call me the dead guy. Money. Oh, oh, oh no. nineteen! <laughs> oh. oh my god. What are Kel's final moments? Um, Final thoughts. Kel remembers the. Oh, Jesus Christ, man. <laughs> Kel enters the underworld. <laughs> Calling your spirit in. Yeah, and he sees uh, Krolltuck and his horned helmets. Uh, as he disintegrates in front of him, uh, a symbol of the volcano of creation, as well as it's just molten lava. Melting away, yeah. <laughs> turning to ash. This Biggs. Insane. Wait, 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 wait. Come on. Oh, no, give you the honor. On, we'll give you the honor. <laughs> you know, waiting for it. Yeah. <laughs> you, you were right. Silly me. Here we go. Dead. Peace, man. Peace. There's nowhere I can maneuver to get a shot on Quill Tuck in this round. You aren't sure? You could try. Well, I don't know the miniatures. You just can't see him. Oh, okay, okay. Just can't see him. <sighs> nah, Herman's right. I'm gonna, I'm gonna double move this way. Try to, mm -hmm. try to get out. <coughs> Go that way. You're gonna go yeah. into the fire. The Burning Bridge Tavern. I mean, it's been a little while. <laughs> <laughs> it's burned down. The, no, yeah, not the Burning Bridge Tavern. The Burn Bridge Tavern. What are you doing, Herman? Um, I'm going to... So I can see a little bit of light still, kind of cast from their fire here. Oh, yeah. All right, so that's extending out here. Mm -hmm. Okay, great. So I'm going to haul ass this way. That's about it, though. It'll be, that'll be all dark beyond that point. All right, well, I'm going to light a torch. <clears throat> okay. No, no, I'm not. Don't we still have a torch timer going? Yep. Yes, we do. Well, we did, but then nobody had torches anymore. <laughs> you, could, you could say there's a torch over here you could pick up. Kel's torch. torch. Yeah, right, like Kel's torch. torch, and they were too. No, that's I died in the underworld. It's gone. Oh, yeah. it's extinguished, so there you go. <laughs> <laughs> legit, <laughs> legit. Great. Hey, yeah, tough choices right now. You want to keep oh, yeah, going to the unknown? I'm going to stand there. All stand alone? The darkness. Yes, yes, that's what I'm going to do. Wow. Yep. Okay. Miss Biggs, as you, you know, move the bookcase aside, you can see the you know, smoke. The whole side of the kitchen has collapsed into this laboratory, burning any of these, uh, you know, preserved jars and pieces of paper and... The, the fire is smoldering. It's you know spreading, but like I'm it's not as out. yeah yeah. You can be able to run through all of this, doing your best to overcome. What do you do, Herman? Fumble my way through this. You lit the torch, right? No, no. Yeah, you gotta fumble your way through. Sure. Yeah. Perechios. <laughs> My heart couldn't take it. Where did you go? So how far do I get? So you're right. stumbling, yeah, you feel more of these altars. I feel like an opening here. Yeah, there's an opening there, yeah. Uh, Alright, I'm gonna go this way, I guess. Okay. I'm double moving through here. So in the darkness, actually, it's gonna circle back around to my side. Okay, one, one, two. Miss a couple of these, okay. Do, 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 do. And you start, you know, feeling your way into the darkness, and you can just feel 
onyx claws and a giant <laughs> snout. <laughs> Okay. <laughs> just a statue, you know, a pedestal uh, of uh, one of those hounds on a statue. Okay. Cool. Do I feel a draft? No, not not here. Uh, all right, great. Well, I don't know. I guess I'm gonna turn around then and back up. What are you doing, Miss Biggs? You're you're running I'm through. I'm trying yeah? to yeah get out. So as you run out, you can see that, yeah, there's, you know, Parechios and some other tavern members are trying their best to, to smolder it, and they're, they're having it somewhat contained, but it's threatening enough, you know, to, to be a, uh, a problem, but nothing that you can't get by or through. Yeah, I want to try to help. I, I told you about the teleport, remember? Yeah, but you also said it brought you back, and I didn't want to risk it. All right, cool. Yeah. Uh, I want to try to help him. Maybe try to help him contain it. Yeah, Parekio says, Oh my god, this tavern, uh, what's going on? Who are these people? What, you guys are uh, uh, newcomers, but uh, uh, we need to save this place. There's a lot of history here. There's a lot of memories. A lot of stories. I love this place. Give me the water. I'll pour it on the fire. You know, they're like blanketing and doing their best to smolder, uh, put out the fire. But it's a greased fire. It's some nasty thing. So it's, it's, it's... Any kind of check I can make to try to be helpful. You are okay. helping. You are helping, okay. yeah. Herman, light a torch, and then can I move as well? Mm -hmm. All right, so I'm gonna move over towards this wall. Yeah, this is like this natural, uh, you know, if I see like a little hole, or what do I see over there? Yeah, a, uh, like a small crevice and a, and a passageway up as well too. All right, well, uh, I guess I don't know. These fucking guys came from somewhere. Hmm. Probably wouldn't uh, commit to these things, and since I don't have any knowledge of this stuff, so I don't. But that's it. I lit the torch and boom. So okay. Uh, I reincarnate in the spirit world, and I'm following our friend over here. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's like a little little floating ghost behind him. Wait, listen, listen. What the hell? <laughs> Put it out. <laughs> so, Miss Mix, you, you're helping Parekios, and he just looks up to you and. I don't know who those people that the preservation society they are unbelievable I, I did not expect them to have be such a violent force here in this tavern I, they come and they go as they please but I don't know how this fire started I don't I don't, I don't know why but I just need to just need to get out of here yeah I just need to move on Let's go. Let's go, Parekios. I'll help you. Okay, you know, taking up some of the remains and the fire smoldering, and you know, everyone kind of steps away from the burning of, you know, uh, kitchen that's collapsed within the lab. Herman, go over here. Yeah, you notice the doorway open over there. Back here. Here. Oh, here. Mm -hmm. With a uh, 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 circle of runes. Oh, of the of the volcanic metal that has made up the the, the uh, etchings of different scribes. So can I get there? Yeah. Mm -hmm. All right. Great. Fantastic. Roll a d6. Okay. Here we go. Two. Is that what I roll? Uh, no, you rolled one. one. Oh, okay. Um, you f f you blink out in it, and you return to the spot. What the fuck? <laughs> <laughs> okay, so am I? I'm the last yeah. one here, right? Everybody's out, or out or dead? Yes. <laughs> we, don't need, yeah, we don't need to take turns, I think, unless they're still tracking. Four. I'm sure. just like bang on the thing. Feel yourself. <laughs> oh god! You teleport right in front of them. Shit! <laughs> Where the hell am I? <laughs> You're in a small. Room. All right. Well, I'm gonna wander over here, I guess. Can I see the rest of this room with my torch? Yeah. Now that now that you uncovered, you see the rest of this room. You can Your see. Your sass is unbelievable, man. Yeah. Uh, I love Errol's sass. <laughs> Things don't go his way. Yeah, it's getting there. All right. So. Um, You're gonna die. I guess. <laughs> <laughs> I can see that there's probably another one of these things over here. Uh, shit, I don't 
uh, so and there's a, a pedestal ahead of you with um, the remnants okay. of a book. Okay. Well, that sounds interesting. I'll go and uh, we'll go and have a little reading sesh. From what you can gather, it mentions you know a travel, a passage to this land and. Anyone that returns back to the, the, the homeland, the unknown land, the wastes, mm -hmm. uh, would be a one-way trip. Okay. Uh, cool, well that doesn't get me out of here. So... Well, I mean, it does. It does? Yeah. I can return to the homeland? Yeah. <laughs> it's, not, it's not a map, it's just a, an instruction of or it's like a, it's like a, a, a foretelling, a warning, a right. Yeah, sorry, I understand what you're saying. I'm just encouraging him. Um, okay, well, I can see that there's doors here. Uh, can I see their blazing fire crackling through the doors? No, no. Well, I guess you know I know where I am, but Herman wouldn't know. So I'm gonna open these doors and kind of like peer out. Yeah, they were locked, but on this side you could unlock them and. As you open it, you can see, yeah, a very familiar pillar and a pedestal in the passageway. Oh, good. Okay, well, great. Um, hmm. Might as well just keep uh, testing my luck, so I'm gonna go back here and try it again. Three. Let's okay. all the numbers. Yeah, so you teleport uh, back to the entryway here, and you can <laughs> smell the smoldering. Oh, through that that food. God, Christ. Or whatever we have in this universe. So, can I, can I make my way through here? Is this possible? possible? It's, yeah, it, it's, there's burnt timbers and stuff, but it's possible. You can see a hole up into the kitchen. All right, I'm going to either climb through the hole or go up the stairs or whatever. Yeah, so as you crawl out. out, you can see the remaining vestiges of the, um, you know, the the patrons of the tavern and Miss Biggs, what have you been doing all this time? Uh, Miss Biggs is outside with... Uh, Parekios. Parekios. Just in time as their, your torch goes out as you make it to the surface. <laughs> you Into know, I think Miss Biggs is trying knife. to comfort Parekios, you know, halfling to halfling. Mm -hmm. He's a small human. He's oh, like, yeah, yeah, yeah. He's like, you are still smaller, but he's very, like, he's short. He's a large yeah. halfling. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Like, oh, I just thought you were a tall half so My bad, sorry. Yeah, it happens. You know, it's the best of the night. We, we folk, you know, I get it. I get it. Mm -hmm. But I get it. You, know, you guys are sitting outside. Yeah, it's a nighttime. You know, it's lit up by the burning, br the burning, uh, the burning uh, bridge tavern now, as it's called. <laughs> burnt bridge. The burnt bridge tavern. It's it's two the souls room. from within have fallen. And die. What are you guys? What are you two thinking about? The survivors of this. R.A.P. Herman's just like I can't remember any successful mission that has ever been undertaken by me. I think I'm in the wrong line of work. <laughs> this is not like me. <laughs> this is very unusual, but usual also. <laughs> He's just like shaking his head. This is like the worst failure that Miss Biggs has ever had. Like, they're just like, damn, I thought. Like, they're like, I'm respond. I said that we could ambush them. Like, I'm the one who said that we could take them, and we just could not. I failed. I fumbled. That was mm. on me. Well, in this horrible course of events, you have not gained full knowledge of your uh, your your desired goal your um, sought after map thankfully though in a, in a weird circumstantial sort of events there in your faction you guys your surviving factions you guys can contribute as well too in your factions managed to acquire um, uh, connections to a mole within the Preservation Society. And they have the map. And it was made out of a indestructible volcanic metal 
that they acquired inside the pit. And that's why they burned it. Mm-hmm. And unfortunately, with the burning of the pit, if you guys could have saved it, you would have learned more about the, the, the quest, the lands, the uncharted lands. So you are completely going into the uncharted lands blind, but your connections have managed to find the map. Completely blind. We do know that we can't come back. It's true. Does, does Herman even go? Well, maybe once he starts putting pieces together, he'll understand that. But for now, sure. he just knows that there's a one-way trip of some kind that has been spoken of. And that is for you. And that is for you. Do we fade back up on the figure or the the uncharted lands, the shadowy figures that were walking towards the whatever silhouettes? they were, and mm-hmm. it, it, it's all the shapes of all of our characters: Herman, Miss Biggs. Uh, keep forgetting your name. No, it's, it's, he's not there. It's, it's, it's the shape of him from the back. Remember, it's right, shadow. right. It's the shape so, of Cal. Exactly. Fades up on the front of him. It's not them. <laughs> <laughs> it's not them. It's, it's, it's their stunt doubles. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. Exactly. Uh, so these, you guys, you know, cutting back to the present day uncharted lands. You have the. Uh, Balsalt Desert's ahead of you, and we will pick it up within this outpost next time as we go in and explore further into the Balsalt Deserts. Thanks for watching this chapter of our ongoing fable. Drop a like if you enjoyed the episode, and let us know in the comments which stories interest you most. Subscribe to the channel so you don't miss any of our upcoming videos. And to stay connected, there are links to our Discord and socials in the description. We want to invite you to the next episode of Tables and Fables, and we'll be sure to save you a seat.